Hello, boys and girls. How are we doing? Hello. Hello, and welcome to the pre stream stream. This is where the cool kids hang. Look. Look. I'm using my FC Isle of Man mug. I may have sent the shirt to Finland, but I'll treasure the mug forever. Mm -mm -mm. How are we all doing today? Have we had a good. I want to say Thursday. <laughs> Have we had a good Thursday? I've had a good Thursday. I hope you've had a good Thursday. If it's not Thursday, I've still had what I would count as a good Thursday. It's felt Thursday-like, but I think it is Thursday. <sighs> if only I had a calendar of some kind. It's Thursday! Hurrah! Lockdown is ruining us all. Uh, thank you for the subs, Gambling Blues, um, and Rebby Roo. Thank you very much to both of you. Um... Have you know? Have you seen a huge spike of us now hitting seven, eight, nine month streaks? Yes, everyone is on that kind of streak. I mean, it's partly lockdown stuff, and partly it was around March, April last year. Um, it was basically when the YouTube ad revenue disaster happened, when coronavirus first hit. Um, that's when I came back to Twitch. I hadn't done Twitch for about a year, um, but I realised I wasn't going to survive on YouTube alone for the summer because ad revenue went like dropped by like 50 percent for a little while there so that's when i came back to twitch as a money grab because i'm a money grabbing monster and um yeah so it's it's both of them together but yeah lots of people are on a similar sort of length streak which is awesome um the richest man in the world one day one day um i had classes today so it was fine could have been better how are you? Spent the last few hours with my son flying our drone into fireworks. Doing what now? Would that not destroy the, the drone? <laughs> that would be awesome. Um, can I get a name in the game? Have you cashed it in? If you have, then let the mods know and they'll sort you out. Shouldn't ad revenue be high because more people will be watching YouTube? Um, no, because it's it's complicated basically there were more people watching but the amount of money that there were fewer advertisers so the amount you got paid per ad went down massively so there it was like march and april last year it's all back to normal now it's all fine now but march and april last year we were all in this weird situation where we were busier than we ever usually were at that time of year views were up massively but actual money was down massively um we all effectively had like a 50 percent pay cut which is why Twitch exploded the way it did because everyone needed an alternative. Um, Beanie Nixon, thank you very much for the sub. And old, old, uh, why is, why is Geffin not said it? Old school Nbwa. I love it when Geffin says it. Thank you very much as well for the sub. Uh, get 3D glasses next time you go and watch fireworks. The polarization of the lenses makes every point of light shoot out beams. Nice. Would that still work with my color blindness? Watch the premiere live today. It was great fun. Yeah, how many of you are here? when you're not usually here but you're here because you watched the youtube premiere today 2400 unique viewers on during the 20 minutes that that premiere was live i've only gone above that on twitch once and that was for the most recent streamer showdown final when we pushed past 3000 viewers um but yeah that was ridiculous view numbers hopefully we'll drag a few of you over here um not a problem please say you saw the weetabix tweet you were probably and I'm not exaggerating, the 30th person this week to send me the Weetabix tweet. I think I have a reputation. Told my son if he wants to go on holiday, he has to assemble his own drone first. Nice. <laughs> um, I, I got rid of one of my drones just before we moved house. I still have my small drone, but I don't have a drone license anymore. We need a drone license now. And I think it's only like 11 quid and you can do it in half an hour, but... I think the last time I flew my drone, I flew it into a wall next to a reservoir. And I've not dared fly it since because I just crash it every time. I'm terrible at flying drones. I've basically destroyed two. I've got my name on the list. Can I have the best youth at Newcastle, please? Um, right. Let one of the mods know and I'll add the. I'll do it after the stream. We made new rule last night. We don't mess around with um, naming the game stuff during the stream. But if you let the mods know what you want, so tell them exactly that. You want the best youth player at Newcastle. And I'll um, they'll add it into the Discord, and then I'll do it before the next stream. And we'll be sorted. Right, should we, um, should we play some Football Manager? We should probably play some Football Manager. 
Thanks for watching your stream the other night. My autistic daughter has played the Turn This Ship Around song at least 50 times a day. I'm seriously considering Ear Defenders. Brilliant. I love that. That's fantastic. I had a copyright strike on YouTube for Turn This Ship Around because Epidemic Sound don't have Lelujo Live on file as something that I'm connected to. So it got a bing. We'll sort it. We'll sort it. We're not worried. But I just, it didn't occur to me that because that channel is not set up with Epidemic Sound, in fact, neither is Twitch, so I probably shouldn't be using it here. My Epidemic Sound comes through my YouTube um, partnership with my um, network. So I want, I'll have to check with them. Can I be using that song here on Twitch? I might not be allowed to. I might have to stick to the truly copyright three stuff because I don't actually pay for Epidemic Sound myself. It's paid for for me on a big group thing. Right, um, Football Manager O'Clock. We are off to Armenia. If you missed last night's stream, we gloriously qualified for the Europa Conference League. It was never in doubt. It was spectacular. And it was all thanks to us. We needed no help from any other teams in any other games to get into the Europa Conference League. It's the first time I've ever played in it, I think. Um, I think we qualified for it with Barnsley last year, but then left before we actually played in it. So this is my first taste of the Europa Conference League. I don't think we're going to be in it very long because we're going to get knocked out by Ararat Armenia right now. Uh, but we are midway through a summer transfer window. It's the 13th of July. Um, we've done quite a few transfers already. There will be more transfers after we get knocked out of the Conference League. Uh, we were also looking for a potential new job because we're about to hit season four of the save. You can see we've applied for a job at Shelbourne over in the Irish Premier League. Um, we don't really want to downgrade to a job that's beneath me, though. So I don't want to go to like the third division over in Northern Ireland, for example, which was one of the jobs that we probably could have got. I have had a manager reputation boost up to one star now, but still only have a National C license. And the club has had a boost up to a one star team as well. They were both half stars last season. So I'm hoping now we've had the couple of reputation boosts. As long as my coaching badges don't hold me back, we might just be able to sneak over to the Republic of Ireland and get this job because and um, this season is part way through in the Irish Premier League. Um, Shelbourne have got far more money than we've got. They've got a much better reputation than we've got. Um, they are having a struggle of a season, but I think we can save them. If it was Galway United, that'd be a little bit different. There's no saving them. I think we, sa I think we can save Shelbourne from that situation build on that and hopefully they'll have enough money to put me through my coaching badges so we can eventually move on again that's the plan with that um transfer wise you can see there's lots of transfers currently going on we've also already brought quite a few players in most notably martel taylor crossdale links up with me for the third time um and we lost two of our big loan players from last season charlie ridge is c ridge the selfish moron because he doesn't want to come back and Kyle Darling is Kyle Darling is a scumbag because he didn't want to come back. Both clubs agreed to let them come on loan again and they were like, no, that's dirty and beneath me. So we don't like either of them anymore. But you can probably see from the amount of players that have left that we are in the process of a clear out. We're basically getting rid of everybody who's not awesome. Trying to just completely rebuild the squad so we don't have a second half of the season collapse like we did last season. When it all started so well, and then this happened, and that's why we didn't win the league. We're also switching to a 4-4-2, because the diamond let me down, Maddox let me down, we relied on him too much, and it just didn't work. So we're switching to a 4-4-2 for this game against Ararat, and I'm just trying to work out how to assemble these players together into a 4-4-2 that might work. So Taylor Crossdale wants to be a poacher, but he's also good as an advanced forward or a pressing forward. Yeah, wants to be, he just wants to be a poacher. So I think I'm going to switch them two of them over and have him there as the poacher and have Taylor Crossdale drop a little bit deeper to try and link up with midfield a little bit. I think I'm happy keeping these as they are. He can be a ball winning midfielder. He can be a box to box midfielder. He's a winger. He's a striker who's going to have to play on the wing. So we have him coming up that side, him coming up that side, a fairly... Uh, defendy defence, a nice basic midfield, and hopefully two strikers who will be fairly free scoring. This is the plan. Um, have we set up set pieces? Let's make sure we've set up set pieces. Oh, dirty, dirty Kev hasn't set up corners. We can't go into our first game in Europe without a corner routine. Who's? Are, are we seriously playing with a five foot six centre back? 
Whose idea was th what? What's he for? What are you? What is the point of you, Jack Brown? Why are you in defense? Who the hell are you? Why did we sign you? I've got so many questions about this player. We have got two. We we need two centre backs. We've got two centre backs that we've currently got offers in for. Um, both him and him. In fact, no, those two are the two centre backs. So we know centre back is an issue. That's why he's playing there. Pascal always knows. Um, but getting back to um, important matters, there's just no point in him being forward for corners at five foot six. This fella's six foot four, so we'll aim at him. He may as well stay back. You'd have to remind me to fix this. They're all tiny. He can stay back if needed. We're going to push him and get him more involved. Who have we got who's big? Right, he's six foot two, so he can go there. He can go there. We want a ruffian. A big old thug. What's he? He's a... Who's playing ball with him midfielder? Him. No, I think we'll stick him in there, marking the keeper. And then... We'll have... Yeah, we'll do this. Then we'll do the same from the other side. So he's the one who we just don't need because he's tiny. He can go there. Big boy can go there. And then him in there. Uh, and he can come up here like that. Is that how we had it on the other side? Yeah, that looks about right. And um, that'll do. We're not going to fiddle around with long throws or anything because I'm not a monster. Um, the Idoits are out tonight. Are they? Are mods dealing with it? It looks like mods are dealing with it, so I'm not going to worry too much. Good work, mods. I didn't even see what had happened. Um, right, so this is the team that we are going to take to Armenia, presumably to get absolutely smashed and then play a football match. <laughs> um, we're we're going to go there and attack as well because it's all we know how to do. Let's go out there and shock them. They're a much better team than we are. We're not fit. <laughs> and uh, we've never played this tactic before. But otherwise, it's all going to be fine. Um, that's a common uh, suffix to a name, clearly, in uh, in Armenia. Every single person is Yan, apart from this guy. Uh, Karen Kachatrien. He's Ian rather than Yan. We've got a lot of Yans. Why not go into the match for a 5 4 and park the bus? Because I'm not pathetic. That's why. Goodness me. Right, let's um, let's do no gesture and do that. Da, 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 da. Zach, thank you very much for the sub. I wasn't aiming for the front post. What? What's the point of a corner if you don't? Have, we haven't got any set piece takers on either. Um, this is what happens when we. You, know, you are correct. This is what happens when we rush into a game before we finish building the team. And um, so we should probably just whack all of these on quickly. Um, I don't even know the names. I mean, this is in basically an entirely new 11. So I don't know any of their names yet. I don't know if any of these are the wrong players to be taking any of this. So we're just going to literally leave it like this. I don't know if they're all fullbacks. What do I... Uh, uh, do I look Spanish to you? I don't know who's a fullback. Right. <laughs> well... Well. Well. This could be a difficult football match. Armenia has good brandy. It's called Ararat, like the team. Coincidence? Hopefully they're all hammered then. Oh, we could have used a long throw here. Um, oh, 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 oh! We've got an away goal! Oh, we've got an away goal! Martel Taylor Crossdale scored on his debut! Beautiful stuff! Absolutely outstanding. There you go, see, we're uh, we're gonna be fine. If we who uh, we've uh, the draw for the next round has already happened. I think it's Austria Vienna, the winner of this tie gets. So if we uh, if we do manage to pull off a result here, we're going to get knocked out in the next round. Next round, no fear of that. Oh, what is going on? This is what this is the problem. We've got a five foot six centre back. This is the problem. 
<laughs> I mean, he's so little. It's him, isn't it? He's is it him? He's so little. God, we probably need to look at the the defensive corners. So, yeah, Mr. Five Foot Six is the one on the near post. We probably need to uh, adjust that slightly, don't we? Um, and then we'll put him there. Um, oh, no, wrong button. Who's just subbed? Uh, Serge Mac, thank you very much for the sub. Um, why have we got our winger on the near post there? What is going on here? That that will do, sort of. Hopefully, we'll have a little bit more joy stopping them constantly score from corners. Now we've not got a five foot six centre back defending the near post where they've scored from twice. Taylor Crossdale's in again. He's too good for this competition. Martel Taylor Crossdale. Oh yes. Beautiful stuff. I am aroused for tomorrow's Arsenal transfer special. You should be. It's a doozy. 2-2. Two, two. Taylor Cro I tell you what. Taylor Crossdale. Oh, he's going to be a good player for us. Who needs Charlie Ridge? Right. Hopefully they'll stop scoring from corners now we've actually got a defensive corner routine on. Maybe. Probably won't. But at least we're trying now. Because that's what they've had two shots from corners. That's it. If we plug that gap, we might be all right. That's supposed to... It's basically like playing streamer showdown, Kev. I don't care for it. I feel a bit like plates. Actually, no. I feel like Chez. Chez is the one who got ruined by my set pieces. Um, I did make transfers before the transfer special, yes. You'll meet them in the transfer special tomorrow. Dun, dun. Oh, 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 oh. Taylor Crossdale looks looks sharp. Just going to give myself a round of applause because I'm an absolute genius. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful stuff. We're better than Armenia. Look at it. Look at it go. This transfer special will be short, I guess. Um, No? I'll make loads more transfers during it. Don't you worry. We finish the rebuild in tomorrow's Arsenal video. Let's not forget there's about 10 players there that I want rid of. So just because theoretically I've already spent all my budget, all I've really done is I've spent all my first budget. We get second budget tomorrow. And we're going to spend that as well. Right. He can play as a pressing forward, which is handy. I'm almost tempted to drop him back a little bit, but I'm not Spanish, so I can't. How many sports coats do I own last time? And when was the last time I wore one outside the house? Um, this Today? Because I put the bin out wearing it. Um... Can he play in the middle? I thought he was a winger. Yeah, he is. Why would I bring him on when we've got Super Mauro Bandera who can come in in midfield? Um, I've got like seven or eight suit jackets now. Never, never abused again. The never, never has never been abused. Um, it is used at times, but it's never been abused. Don't you worry. I'm going to make a video about that at the weekend. And I'm seriously... We talked a little bit about about what to call it yesterday you lot we brainstormed do i cheat the transfer market in football managers where we got to yesterday um i'm tempted to just call it this is why you're all wrong and just a thumbnail be me going i'm not sure which one's going to get the most clicks i need to do some a b testing youtube needs to give me a b access to the a b testing thing that some of the bigger youtubers get <laughs> but yeah i um i'm gonna set out in detail why I'm not abusing the trans, the, the abusing the never never, and why it's actually a completely reasonable thing to do in Football Manager because of the way transfers are structured in Football Manager and the way the AI works, it's the only reasonable thing to do. And I'm going to demonstrate it with this transfer transfer window that I'm doing with Arsenal tomorrow. How 
how to hack the transfer market. I'm not hacking it though. I'm man. I'm doing it like a normal football club within the confines of what Football Manager lets me do. It's it's complicated, but I'm going to explain it. Probably. I'm going to do a video. I'm not going to spoil the video now. Right, here's a centre back coming in. He won't be ready for the second leg, but at least we now have a centre back. Please be taller than five foot six. I mean, you're still not six foot tall. You're still not much use to me, but you're better than what we had. Uh, Ruben Collins thinks he's being replaced. Well, you're probably not. You're probably quite safe. You've only just come in. I mean, we've now got two centre-backs, Ruben. Did you remember who was just your centre-back partner in that last game? We, I mean, you, you know, the little guy who we had to move out of the defence at set pieces. Do you remember him? You needed someone You need someone to play next to you. Uh, ah. <laughs> You're operating more, operating more recently. No club in real life ever pays fees up front. Exactly. Is it using installments? That, people moan about using installments and say things like exploit and abuse. Um, when I mean, I'll give you, I'll give you a slight spoiler for the video now. My my theory is this: you can pick holes in it that I can address in the video. Then, um, we've all played Football Manager before, I believe, um, and we've all had the issue where. So you identify a player that you want to sell yeah so let's use the arsenal save as an example this isn't spoilers for tomorrow this may or may not happen but say i want to sell Jao pedro who has a supposed value of about 75 million pounds now if i offer him out do you think i'm going to get offers of 75 million pounds or do you think i'm going to get offers of 20 million pounds or 30 million pounds and also do you think clubs are going to offer all the money up front or are they also going to offer installments and add-ons clue they'll offer low and they'll offer installments and add-ons the same way i do but let's say i want to buy a player let's use um my good buddy liam parsons as an example whose value in game i think is 45 million pounds now, if I make an offer for him, do you think Peterborough are going to accept £45 million, even if I pay it all up front? Or do you think they're going to ask me for £150 million, which obviously I can't do because that genuinely would bankrupt the club that has a balance of maybe £200 million. It would be like buying a house in cash rather than getting a mortgage. Spoilers again, they'll want £150 million. Um, So as far as I'm concerned that in itself is utterly unrealistic um the game always lowballs you when you're trying to sell players always we've seen what's happened with nathan curry in the home save this week you always get lowballed on players leaving the club and whenever you want to buy a player you're always asked to pay an extortionate amount of money for them and i think that is a really unbalanced unfair transfer market that is a little bit broken because of the ai so my way to balance that out is yeah i'll overpay for your players but i'm not gonna do it all in one go i'm gonna spread it out and yeah you can pay me below the odds for the players that you want but i'm gonna make you do it all in one go so that our books always stay balanced um you'll you'll see in tomorrow's transfer window i'm not going to spoil what transfers we have or haven't done but the actual club balance at the end of the summer is pretty much the same as the club balance at the end of the summer so as long as I stay at the club and carry on doing it my way, I will keep the books balanced. And it doesn't matter that some of it is on the never never and that there's some transfer debt on there because we'll sell players to cover that each summer. So it works. Doing it any other way is just hamstringing yourself for no reason. Why would I want why would I spend 38 million pounds? If I think they gave me a 38 million pound transfer budget, why would I stick to just spending 38 million pounds when um when that wouldn't buy one player that would improve the team it just wouldn't help and the other thing if the club decide you go too far with it they then scale down the retained transfer revenue so if you get to the point where you've got too much transfer debt and it's getting a little unbalanced the club will start saying right well you're only having 40 percent of your sale money or 25 percent of the sale money and that by them doing that and balancing the books in the background they're making sure that when you sell a player for 30 million you can then only respend seven or eight of it 
because the rest of it goes towards helping clear that transfer debt off. And it does all actually stay balanced because I've done it for years and years and years at a time with some clubs and they never go into debt and they never they never struggle financially. It just works. You just have to use your noodle and keep it balanced. <laughs> there we go. Kev's rant. Mazzy six man, thank you very much. It's not unbalanced because of the AI with the AI low balling offers and high balling as well. If you offer a player out, the intelling teams will want to sell him and thus they'll obviously test your resolve. Same with club with players they don't want to sell. I mean, you say that. I disagree. If I'm I don't know, if I'm Paris Saint Germain and I decide I don't want Kylian Mbappe anymore, I want to cash in and I want to um I want to reinvest that money and rebuild the squad with the Mbappe money. In real life, if I ring up Manchester City and Real Madrid and Barcelona and say, look, I've got this Mbappe fella. I kind of want £200 million pounds for him. Are you interested? Then someone buys him for £200 million. Pounds. They're not going to come back and say, £40 million and no more. That's not how it works. <laughs> Kev, I saw the poll on YouTube the other day about whether using installments as an exploit, but what do I think? It's definitely not an exploit. It's how transfers work in real life. And Bappe is a bad example. He's not only amazing, but a commercial boot. He's not a bad example. He's a really good example. If the player's rubbish, then I get it. But if he's a good player, then you shouldn't be lowballed. But in Football Manager, it doesn't make the distinction. Um, You could... I don't know. You could... I mean, you could go and try it in Football Manager now. Go and take over Paris Saint-Germain and offer Kylian Mbappe out and see what offers you get. No one's going to give you 200 million. It's just not how it works. But go and manage Manchester City and then go and try and buy Mbappe and see how much they make you pay for him. It's it's unbalanced and using instalments is the only way to rebalance it. And as long as you balance both ends of it and you've got a brain, you can keep it balanced and it works fine. How do you stop players wanting to leave? Um, I just let them leave usually. The exploits used to be selling a player for zero pound up front, 50 million on one international cap. When you, Yeah, exactly. That stuff is an exploit. But agreeing a fee that both parties are happy with, but just structuring it over two or three seasons is how football works. <laughs> and some people just can't wrap their brains around it. And I don't know why. Selling, buying, or split payments is indeed a normal accounting treatment. Usually you'll pay a bit more per total compared with a cash-in option. Yeah, exactly. So I just start you off on a rant. Like, no, you uh, believe me, you've not started me off on a rant. This is how the video is going to be. Because um, it's, it's every day in the comments. I've had to block two or three people this week just for being absolute wang baskets. Just, oh my word. Ugh. They will not let it drop. You've ruined the save by abusing this. Ad. Just go and watch. Go and watch someone else then. <laughs> if I've ruined, if I've ruined the save, why do you come back and watch me every day? Because you enjoy it, you pillock. That's why. So sit back and enjoy it. <laughs> uh... Kev, what are you on about? PSG paid the full two hundred million for Neymar up front to Barca. I know exactly. And likewise, Paris Saint-Germain did the full 200 million up front from Mbappe. They didn't loan him for a year and then structure the payments over a number of years after that, did they? To get round FFP. <laughs> that, I mean, I would say doing that in FM, that's a little, that's starting to get a little bit iffy if you start going to that extent. But that's, even that happens in real life. Yeah, PSG's owners paid the 200 million for Neymar and then they delayed paying for Mbappe. In my home style, my young, my youth player was poached by Fulham when I was in tier eight for 6K. Four years later, he's just gone to Barca for 133 million. That is spectacular. Did you have a sell on? Neymar joined PSG as a free agent. Yeah, because his release clause was cashed in, wasn't it? His buyout clause from his contract. It's all mad. So yeah, nobody can tell me I'm exploiting anything. 
because real life football infinitely worse than any shenanigans i get up to right we've signed a couple of players here um we brought this guy in on the right hand side we've also brought a uh, a goalkeeper in and my director of football is trying to bring in this guy which i'm not going to object to because he looks all right um finance wise we are pretty okay so i think it's probably time for another batch of trialists so because when do we actually start the new season new season starts in like three weeks so i think we can take another round of trialists so that's what we shall do and we'll see if we can squeeze in even more quality to this side that already looks pretty good i mean it's difficult to know how good um whatever this team is called in armenia are but they're a one and a half star team from a much higher level league and we just beat them away from home so i've got to believe we're not a terrible side this season maybe I might say if the world record transfer has actually been beaten and Bappe to United for 235 million. Presumably that's AI to AI though, which is a little bit different. Um, that would have been... That's not an example of PSG offering him out or you trying to buy him before they're ready to sell. That's the AI probably making offers most summers to try and get him and then eventually PSG decide the amount is enough and decide to sell him on. Um... But yeah, I uh, I think when you when you you'll see it in the transfer window that we do tomorrow. I think I've done a very balanced transfer window that involves selling an awful lot of players and buying quite a lot of players as well. And I think we end up with a very good squad that looks very different to the one that you've seen in today's video. And. I think it's all completely realistic and reasonable. And anyone who disagrees can go and watch someone else or play their own save or just realise it's a game and it's not that important. Any of them are okay. <laughs> Did I do a buy-in? No. Although even that wasn't as bad as everyone made out because it wasn't that we went into major debt with Bayern. They had 800 million in the bank when I got there and they gave me an enormous transfer budget. I was given like a 300 million pound transfer budget at Bayern and even Bayern never went into any kind of financial difficulty. So they just saved up money for many years and said, here you go, Kev, fill your boots. So I did. Arsenal haven't got that kind of money. But... I'm just working within the means of the club that I'm at. Sneak peek, how many posh players have joined the ranks? Not answering that question. Not giving any spoilers. Zero spoilers. Why am I guilty of giving Kevin irresponsibly large amount of money to spend? I mean, that's a really weird negative twist to take on it. What Bayern actually did is they'd been in decline for about three years, hadn't won the league, um, weren't the big, weren't even the best team in Germany anymore. But they had 800 million in the bank, so they gave it to me and then won back-to-back -back Champions Leagues like within three years. So... And at no point went into any kind of debt to do it. So, I don't know. Were they irresponsible or did they have a target, go out and get the man to give them the target? He then delivered them the target and everyone was happy. <laughs> Easy. Right. We still need a really good right midfielder. So Jack Hickman is a right back. So therefore it's not going to be him. Weirdly, he wouldn't be the best right back. Um, the purple lurple. Thank you very much for the sub. Um, Aidan Connolly. I don't want an inverted winger on the right-hand side of midfield. Nathan Shaw. I feel like we've made an offer for earlier in the summer. I think he's been here on trial already. I think he's probably the one now. We've got a little bit more money. We might actually be able to bring him in now. So if we just shuffle that around just a smidgen. Now we've moved so many players out of the club. 
So I think we've got quite a lot of spare budget still. Yeah, we've still got a thousand pounds a week spare, even after that deal. So we can bring him in on there. We've got a few decent defenders now. We probably still need one more really good centre back. Although he's a right back. Who can oh, in fact he's a centre back who can but he would also be the best right back at the club. He's off of Paris Saint Germain and Wolves. We've got any Wolves fans in. How much should Wolves pay for him? Undisclosed fee, my eye. I don't think we're gonna be able to afford him. No. Walk away. Um Sanders, we've tried. This is the natural libero, isn't it? A five foot ten natural libero. He can also play as a target man. He keeps appearing. I keep looking at him thinking, oh, I just don't want a libero. Um, a six foot one, no nonsense centre back. This is more like it. From Millwall as well. So he'll be hard as nails. Get him in. This is more like what we're after. Um, so come on, 250 is plenty. Please get the libero target, man. What am I going to do with him? <laughs> if we've got spare money after I've exhausted everything else that I might want, we'll have a look at him again. But, I mean, he doesn't fit into my team as a defender. He's fully scouted now, so we've got all his attributes. So, I mean, he's not a striker. But he's also not really a defender. Maybe he is a striker. He's more a striker than he is a defender. So if we ask him to be a no-nonsense defender, which is what we want, he can't mark or tackle. So he's not a defender. But he's also only 5 foot 10 as a target man. He can't finish. He's short. If anything, he's a pressing forward. But even then, he's just not any good. He doesn't fit in. Wide target man. Uh, no, he's no use. No use to us. Um, whereas this guy, much better. Six foot two left back. We'll have a bit of that. Off of Birmingham. Never let anyone know you just saw me look at some attributes, by the way. I'll deny it. If the streamer showdown lock catch, catch wind of that, I'm ruined. Um... Right, so a left back there. See, this is what I want. 18 year olds. Love an 18 year old. Very Spanish. He is Spanish. He's very. Not this guy. The, cent the Libero. I mean, if we're going to bring him in, we've got to play with a Libero. What's the worst that could happen? Next, you'll be pressing the Zealand buttons. No, I'm never. I won't go that far. He's got loads of caps for actual China. We're not going to be able to afford him, surely. No, he's an actual international footballer. There's Sanders again. I might just sign him. He might just prove me wrong. See, he's not much bigger as a... I want... What I want is a big target, man. We don't really have one. Because Yur is a poacher, although he is six foot two. Could he maybe be a big old lump to stand there? Not strong enough to be a big old lump. Um, Maddox. Is we going to reinvent Maddox? As a, no, he's only five foot nine. Um, I'm going to sign him just to see what we can do. Just to see what I... Let, let's just see what happens, shall we? I've, I've talked myself fully around in a circle. And we're going to bring him in and worry about what to do with him once he's here. <laughs> oh, dear. There you go. Them lot will do. He is Spanish after all, exactly. Right. Reverse fixture against our Armenian friends. Yours the poacher, isn't he? Yeah. So 
Niang is going to play next to Collins. Because our, our two new centre-backs can't actually play yet. So we've got... At least it's a six-foot-one midfielder this time. Should have looked last time. I didn't, just didn't look. Right, let's get this on. And we'll get our set pieces on properly. Um, did we have the corners set up? Yeah, we did. Shall we abuse long throws? Just, just, just as a special treat. Just, we're not going to do anything fancy with him. We're just gonna. Where's the big centre back? Six foot one, six foot four. There he is. Just gonna have. We're just gonna aim at him. So nothing, nothing too fancy. Just having a little aim at him. Just for a little bit of fun. Right. Because we want to we want to get further into this tournament. You know, I haven't watched AEW yet. No, I forgot that it was Thursday. I mentioned at the start of the stream, I forgot what day it was. Um, I've not seen anything that happened on it either. So no AEW spoilers. What would you do if you have no reputation but a lot of money? Um, I have two-star reputation but $10 million. What should I do? Um youth and improve your facilities you're not going to sign anyone any good really without the reputation when you see Niang's name just at a glance it looks like Wang on the screen which I like it amuses me it tickles me every time I see it I get tickled Bum, 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 bum. Niang Basket. That might be his new name. Right. Oh, look. There you go. Six foot two. He can flick on. But Taylor Crossdale, because he's playing a little bit deeper, wasn't really aware of it. I want. What I want is a Pritchard Beerith or Pritchard Cannon or Beerith Cannon style. Basically, I want my three strikers from home. Who are just all three of them are brilliant. I just want them three here. In every save I do. Right, we've got an overlap on here, lads. Can we see him? There he is, look. Oh, 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 oh. We're off to Austria, boys and girls. We're going on an Austrian adventure. Beerith is a real boy. But he's not appeared on scout reports. I mean, I guess we could go and... We're not playing non to Legend, officially. We could go and see if we can steal Beerith from wherever he is. He's probably retired by now. The stadium is empty. We're playing at the Liberty Stadium in Cardiff. So I guess the nine people who turn up for our normal home games perhaps didn't fancy the 20-minute drive. Oh, look, we defended a corner. What a difference having taller players makes. Beautiful stuff. Nathan Curry must have been happy before he went. Uh, have you seen Nathan Curry in the comments to today's video? He's gutted. After all those shenanigans on um, on home the first time round, where if you didn't watch it in FM19, he came through the youth system, got released quite early on, but rather than retiring, just carried on playing tier seven football for the rest of his career so we'd just check on him every summer he retired at like age 35 rather than just retiring and getting a new player like normally when the youth players get released they don't really end up anywhere he just carried on playing in non-league for ages and never got a second go at having a decent player um, and now finally he gets a player that's actually in the team and it gets sold out from under him we'll get him back i think i said in the video there'll come a time where we've got money to spend and we're in the championship and the only players who are first team ready or close to first team ready we could bring in are going to be the likes of Kieran Hodgkinson and Nathan Curry bringing them back so he will he'll be back those two will be our midfield when we hit the Premier League I think oh look at the throw-ins <laughs> Oh, I haven't even put anything. You watched me set it up. I haven't even done like a custom, like a proper fancy custom throw-in schedule. It is just we've moved a big man to the near post and we've asked them to do long throws, and it is causing absolute chaos. 
<laughs> oh dear. I wonder why everyone gets so upset about me in the showdown. Because this is us only doing it. We're only half abusing it. It's shocking how much as we are sales players for little money when they're worth so much more. It's again the a the transfer AI in the game is broken. Which is why you have to kind of take matters into your own hands. The really frustrating thing is um Popon in the home save. I think we paid more for him than we got for Nathan Curry. And he's like a quarter of the player that Curry is. That's unfortunate for them just there. But it's another example of for us to bring in players who met our under 18 criteria. None of them were first team ready, but most of them we had to pay 150, 200,000 for. And then we have a player who's already played nearly 100 first team games and is clearly good enough to play at least one or two divisions higher. And we accept an offer for that amount. It's absolute madness. Can you set up the year extension thing again? I probably can, but it's a little bit... Again, it's just a little bit glitchy, a little bit exploity, isn't it? I feel a little bit unclean doing it. It's kind of like when you're down at the non-contract level and you offer them new contracts that don't start until the end of the season to stop them leaving. And I've never really been a fan of doing that because it just feels a little bit glitchy. But sometimes... You, it's weighing up, right, what hurts realism more? Being a little bit glitchy with something like that or Nathan Curry being sold for the price he was sold for? And I would argue that from a realism perspective... Nathan Curry leaving in the way that he left was ridiculous. And actually, it would be better to glitch the system, maybe. I don't know. I just don't know. Um, Why have we got three left backs on the bench? Who picked this bench? Why do I do this to myself? If the home database is custom anyway, why not hard code only sign under 18 players? Because I don't know how to do that. I don't really know how to use the editor. Mrs. Wearmouth doesn't know what footballers are worth. She thinks £10 million would be a world record fee. Probably. But then she got five and a quarter million for Ryan Lawson at Apollon. The Nathan Curry deal would never have happened in real life. Exactly. Certainly not in the way it happened. And I think I mentioned in the video that I only got the option to resign. I couldn't even argue with her about it. The only button that was there was the resign button. I wasn't going to resign over it. Was it that unrealistic? You're a small team, which is a miracle run, and the big team comes in and pays quite a lot of money. Well, J JB Vardy was signed for a million pounds from non-league. So... That and that was ten years ago. So I'd suggest, yeah, two Posh paid two hundred and seventy five thousand for George Boyd from Stevenage when they were non league. It, the transfer is not unrealistic. The pathetic fee, incredibly unrealistic, especially because it's not like oh, two hundred and seventy five thousand is such a huge amount of money for our football club because we've just spent eight hundred thousand pounds over the course of the summer. So it's not like we are not used to those kind of transfer fees. To me, a, a club that's spending. 150, 200,000 pounds on youth prospects can reasonably expect to get one or two million for one of those youth prospects when they mature and get sold on. Because otherwise, the whole speculate to accumulate posh style, Brentford style transfer policy doesn't work because you can't buy cheap and sell expensive. You buy cheap and have to sell cheap, which means every transfer has to hit. And when you're signing 18-year-olds, not every transfer is going to hit. So if this was a long-term thing, it sets you up for financial failure. Did I at least get a sell-on? No, because I couldn't. I had no impact on the transfer. So there was no sell-on. It was just a flat 275,000. Uh, how many turned up? Let's see how many turned up. Um... What does it say? It says on this, uh, uh, yeah, over a thousand people. What's typical home attendance for us? Um, so, end of last season, 
Um, when we played, no, that's a friendly. When we played TNS, we had 284 people show up for the biggest game of the season. So we had a lot of fans come for that Euro European game. And now we're off to Vienna. We're off to Austria. Beautiful. Imagine if we knock them out. Plus money as well. There should have been prize money attached to that. <gasps> we're in a positive balance. I might actually be able to do a coaching badge here. Oh. Oh, they're not available. But we get, I think we get another 70 or 80k just for playing in the next round. Problem in the game is that he came through so early, so his value is really low. While you pay 100k for a player, his value is immediately higher already. I know it's annoying. That's what I mean about the transfer AI being broken. Bum, 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 bum. You'll get a portion of the gate receipts by playing in Austria too. I'm not sure if that's how European football works. TV money. What, are we on TV? I don't think it's on TV. That game was on TV. So we got nearly £2,000 TV money for the uh, for the second leg. We broke the attendance record as well. Beautiful. Right, and we can add a couple more players as well, which is handy. Let's squeeze the new boys in. Why is Holtzman not in? Can we only... I don't understand. Can we only add two players? Oh, is it that annoying thing where it's got so many locked in? Um. Oh, that is annoying. So we can only add two of the new players. Um, I think we probably leave the goalkeeper out and put him in. I think he's needed more. Does that mean Maddox? Is that, no, Maddox is under 21. Okay. Right, we'll do that. Oh, we're playing TNS twice early in the season. That's handy. I mean, what a start to the season. Now, we're going to we're gonna go into this Cardiff Met Uni game completely bereft of confidence. Would have been thumped four consecutive games. This is going to be awkward. Boom, 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 boom. That friendly probably needs to move. Bum, bum. What does the board expect? This. This is all they wanted. Second qualifying round. So they should, theoretically... I'm looking at the wrong thing. They should be happy. Yeah, they're pleased that we've hit that criteria. Which is awesome. All about pleasing the board around these parts. Oh, and the TNS game is going to be on telly. Beautiful. Um, can we arrange a friendly a little bit earlier? So I might move the friendly to there. So I don't want to miss out on the friendly because I think we need the fitness. Um, let's try and face the same team. Um, let's have Barnstaple. But then we'll cancel this game. So that way we can play tomorrow and then we should be fit again before the Austria game. Oh yes, Martel Taylor Crossdale is in. It'll be on one TV inside a shop somewhere. <laughs> what, the two grand thing? Oh, what the... Yeah. Oh, it's not even one of the... There you go, we get two... Oh, no, sorry. The home team gets 2K from television rights. So that game against TNS, we don't even get any of the money. It's on telly and we get nothing. Is that how it works? Right, Robinson's coming in. Oh, look at that. We're getting good football players. 
And now Wang's getting upset. Come on. Chill your boots. Chill your boots. Oh, the new boys are all arriving. Here they come, including our new libero. So proud. I don't think we've ever signed a libero before. Last time I signed a libero, they were still called sweepers. And now everyone's going to tell me how they're so very different. Kev, the key differences between a libero and a sweeper are... Oh, I don't want to know. I didn't ask. <laughs> I do not require that information. Thank you. Someone's now furiously deleting what they were typing. So trying to help. Well, didn't help, did it? Try Maddox on the wing. Um, I think he's going to be a striker for us. Where is he? I mean, he's tumbled down the uh, current ability, Dubry. But I think we'll just play him as a as a striker. He can just be uh, the pressing forward. He'll be fine. Yes, Kev. Best FM streamer known to man. Exactly. And woman. Everyone. Everyone knows me that I'm the best. How can five foot nine be a target man? Um, what was his name? I think he was called Neil Fenn, who came through the Spurs youth team and signed for Posh probably nearly 20 years ago now. He was quite short, and we played him as a target man. Because And we've talked about Aaron McLean before as well. He's a much better example, who was probably 5'9", five, 5'10", five, who played as a target man for Posh. He leapt like a salmon. It's not necessarily just about height. It's about your ability to hold the ball up. So, um, yeah, you can be a five foot nine target man. There you go. Kevin Davis was a target man, 5'11". Although the short brigade would claim that's quite tall, probably. Right, the draw for the third qualifying round is happening. So if we somehow make it past, past Austria Vienna, which we won't. Right, we will be at home and we will face... Oh, let it be fire or someone fun. Not that we're going to get there. Partizan or Astra Grzum. Yeah, them. Actual them. Beautiful. Did we try and sign this guy? I don't really know why we're being told about him. Netflix USA got Stargate SG-1 and we ain't. That's kind of shocking. Zach! It's like you're teeing me up for this. It sounds like what you need, Zach, is NordVPN. Exclamation mark NordVPN. And you can sign yourself up for that. Change your location to the US. You don't even need to change your Netflix account. You can already be logged into Netflix. Change your location from wherever you are to the US. Refresh your page. And you can, uh, you can watch Stargate SG-1 on the American Netflix. Boom. Bob's your uncle. What's more, using my link, you get a discount on a two-year plan. A big discount, too. It's a big discount. So, there you go. You can go and watch Stargate to your heart's content. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. And there we have it. Why is there all this stuff being spammed now? But Kev, if I do that, does it support the channel in some way? Why, yes, it does. It absolutely does support the channel in some way. As mentioned on the stream title, it is a hashtag ad. The streams are sponsored by NordVPN all this month. How much is it with my discount? You know what? I can't remember. Um, it's like a 70% discount off of the two-year plan. So, it, I mean, it's cheap. Should we just click it and have a look? Should we, should we just go and investigate? So, it's NordVPN slash Lelujo. Um, and then... Oh, get NordVPN and a gift as seen on Twitch. Buy a two-year plan. Unbox extra service time as a gift. Why? Yes, please. I'd like to do that. Let's click on it. Um, so, it's NordVPN's birthday. Don't miss out. Um, so, on the two-year plan with the discount, with, a one month, with one month three, so it is a 70% discount. It works out at £2.63 a month. 
and then you can uh, pretend you're anywhere in the world see it's good it's really good you should do that get out of here honey you don't sponsor me yet dun, dun, dun. Um, who is Tom Pike and why is he here on trial? And of course, the more people who support the stream, blah, 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 blah. The more streaming I can do, blah, 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 blah. You know all that stuff. It is massively appreciated and a big help whenever anyone does anything that supports the stream because it allows me to focus more on it, which is just delicious and appreciated and all that. What a steal. Those pesky online hackers won't get my data. I mean, they should put that quote on the box. It's brilliant. What's my favourite team and series I've managed on YouTube or Twitch? Probably Apollon, I think. Was that a long or a short ad? Um, I think that's probably somewhere between the two. I didn't mention anything about protecting your data and privacy and all that and riding on a train. So I think it probably counts as the short ad rather than next week's long ad. Uh, we can't get this fella because he didn't get a work permit. Never mind. Never mind. Long ad, please. You had the long ad yesterday. They only pay me for one a week. They want two long ads a week. They know what to do. Kev needs a new jacket. Have I ever gone unbeaten in a season? Um, Didn't we do that with Tottenham years ago? Not the most recent time we were at Tottenham. When we did the original Expedition of Gold, I think we had an invincible season, didn't we? Pretty sure we did. Did we have a pollen? We might have done with a pollen as well. We must have done with a pollen. I'll have to go back and check the records. It doesn't feel like much of an achievement with a pollen though, because we were just um, waggling our genitals all over the rest of the league constantly. So it just didn't ever feel like as much of a challenge. Right, do we want to bring Hall in or do we want to bring in the best player that we can bring in? Are we only allowed to make one replacement? This is stupid. When you've got qualifying going on all summer and players coming in and out of the club all the time, to only be able to replace one player is really dumb. Can we put him back in? And take one of these guys out? Because then we can put him in and we can keep the right back in. It's silly. Must have at least eight players. Oh, okay. That's why he was in. I get you. So now we need to work out who it was. Who was it? It was him. But we can take him out because we don't need him. And put him in. And that works, doesn't it? Ta-da! I, d I mean, I mean, <laughs> there is no way to avoid that happening. <laughs> now look at them all. <sighs> Hello, Sam. I know you're a libero. You would have been perfect for Europe. Oh. Oh. I hope we get knocked out. So if we go through to another round, I can't have four unhappy players. I can't register them all for the next round. So we need to get knocked out now. Has that cheered them all up? Nope. Just nope. <laughs> well, we'll be fine. But they're not going to cheer up now until I register them for a squad at some point. So if we get knocked out and then don't get back into Europe, they're just going to be unhappy forever now. You said you'd register me in the European squad. We've not been in Europe for three years. You said you'd register me in the European squad. Uh.
I have the same issue with my command and save as well, Kev. I just rotate the unhappy players in the next round and it sorted it. Yeah, but you're not allowed to rotate. I mean, if we could have made that many changes, we, they'd already be in, but we were only allowed to make one change between the rounds. So there's four who are unhappy. If somehow we make it through, if we're only allowed to make one change again, I can only bring one of those four into the squad. They'd all be in the squad if we could just pick from scratch, but we can't. Um, hmm. Why are we still playing with a midfielder at centre back? Have we still not added a defender to the squad? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh. You can make three changes after a round, I think, and the one right before, if I'm correct. Okay. That makes more sense. I do remember doing that. It's just we've signed so many players. Right, here we go then. Big European night. Back in Cardiff again. And there's a few more people here this time as well because they've heard of this club. Imagine. Imagine if we were able to pull off a victory tonight. We're not going to. But we said that about the last round. But this is a three-star team we're playing now. Oh, God. Oh, God. Is it Swansea? I thought we were in Cardiff. Ah, what's the difference? They're, uh, they're the same place, basically, aren't they? They're both whales. It's all just one big town, isn't it? Wales is just a town just outside of Bristol. We have already replaced Collings, but his replacement isn't in the squad yet. Looking out my window right now, can confirm Cardiff has spontaneously combusted from rage. <laughs> oh dear. You can probably see that from Bristol. Next town along is upset. Millennium Stadium is Cardiff. Liberty Stadium is Swansea. Well, there's your problem. They've both got stupid names. Give them both a sensible name. And then I'd know where they were. What's wrong? What was wrong with Cardiff Arms Park? I wouldn't have got that the city for that wrong, would I? Oh, dear. Oh dear. Uh, London Road. Yeah, I mean, the ground is literally on London Road. That's what the road is called. If you keep driving, about an hour and a half later, you're in London. You can't stop angering the devolved nations. They'll get over it. If they weren't upset about this, they'd be upset about something else, wouldn't they? I'm English. I can't win. I simultaneously hate and love how Kev's knowledge of everything is from about 1996. It's because that was the last time I was interested in anything other than myself. I got yelled at by a Welsh guy for calling the Liberty Stadium the Liberty Bowl. Eh... Suggests it's in London. I mean, it doesn't, does it? It suggests it's the road to London. I, you don't, you don't, <laughs> you don't pick a road in London and say this is London Road. London Road. I live at number one. London Road, London. No, London. There's lots of London roads. Clue. They all aim at London. They come out of London like spokes. We've got a Lincoln Road as well and a Newark Road. <laughs> There's a Bristol Road in Birmingham. And I bet it points towards Bristol, doesn't it? <laughs> My graphics have gone down the toilet and it makes Kev look like a monster. I look beautiful. Big time YouTube follower. Or big YouTube, not big time, big YouTube follower. First time catching you live. Love you for discussions about drinks and snacks to my American ear. Sounds like TV shows where they can't use real brand names. That's brilliant. There is an address that's just one London. I'm, I want to live there. Can I move there? In my town, we have a Winchester Road and a Southampton Road. Exactly. We have a London Road in Reading. Can confirm Kev is right. 
We have a London road near me here. Does it point towards a London? And it does. None of it compares to my favourite road name in the country, Needless Alley in Birmingham that doesn't go anywhere. It's just an alley that's needless. It's brilliant. We do the same thing in America. Usually form of old town name. Right, there you go, see? If I followed the road, my town in Scotland, I'll end up in London. But no, I don't know what that second part was. If you lived at one London and someone asked where you lived while in London, would one be an acceptable answer? I think so. That's all they'd get out of me. I'd refuse to be any more specific. Where do you live? Number one. What do you mean? I'd live at number one. Number one what? London. And then they'd, they'd think I was just being stroppy. That's all they're getting. I don't want visitors anyway. Stay away from my house, you weirdos. Um, a 2-0 defeat isn't disastrous here. A 3-0 defeat would be worse. But no London Road. Oh, if I followed my town, the road of my town in Scotland, I'll end up in London. But... Hold on, but no, London, there's no London Road. I guess that's because it's Scotland and they don't like to acknowledge that England exists. Youthful Hanetli, come unstuck. Well, we were supposed to lose anyway. Could you ever see the road or was it always covered in snow though? What are we talking about now? I'm so confused. Some of us do. Um, I was speaking generally. Um, oh, we've broken... Oh, wow! 3,000 people turned up! Look at all the money! Look at it all! Send me on a coaching course! I only want to learn, Wayne! Wayne, I want to learn! I want to educate myself! I want to learn the difference between Swansea and Cardiff! I just don't know, because you won't educate me! Come on, Wayne. Right, clear the squad. Oh, we've actually got 15 players now. What a novelty. Is there anyone not in who needs to be in? No, beautiful. I need to learn what a liber... We're favourites to win the league. Holy smoke. How has that happened? <laughs> Captain Libero, they've, they've adjusted the entire formation to fit him in. What on earth am I going to do with this guy? This is going to be a disaster. He's going to ruin the season. And this fella who's just come in, he's good as well. <laughs> oh, we're going to win the league. I'm so glad we didn't leave. In fact, is that... I mean, is anything happening here? They've made it up to fifth. They might as well just leave this fella in charge. They were in the relegation zone when I applied. They might end up in Europe. I'm going to go in and take all the glory. Now Bohemians is available as well. I mean, it would be silly not to apply. I guess the perfect scenario is we get we get to play in Europe and then leave all in this summer. Oh, straight away. Yeah, back off, Kev. We just watched the Austria-Vienna game. We're still in for the other job. Sanders is literally not good at anything, but his average attribute is pretty high for the level. So the game probably doesn't know what to do with him. I mean, if I learn anything from primary school football, from what you've described there, he sounds like a left back. Literally not good at anything. Left back or going goal. Um... Don't know who he is, but we'll just, we just—I assume we wanted him at some point, so we'll just bring him in. Squad numbers. They're only four points above relegation. I mean, I'll—I'll I'll get him into Europe. It'll be fine. 
fullbacks are either failed wingers or failed centre backs. It was just a rite of passage at my school. Everyone made their debut for the school team at left back. I mean, I have no left foot. I was always bigger than everyone else. <laughs> I love that. Um, but I play. I may play my first game for the school team at left back. So Yer and Taylor Crossdale are both in the favourites for top scorer, which is lovely, lovely, lovely. Um, what is the selfish moron up to? Is he just knocking about Ac Accrington, not going to play any football this season because he's a pillock? Oh, look, he thinks he's a false nine now. <laughs> Charlie Ridge has gone vegan. Um, I'm a false nine now, and I don't wear leather football boots anymore. And, yeah, I'm just... I can't drive to work in case we run over a grasshopper. All right, Charlie. You're rubbish and you know it. You're an Accrington Reserve. I'm a five foot four goalkeeper. I don't know what I was thinking. Wow. You should meet Russell the vegan hipster from the home safe. They're basically the same person now. Um, <laughs> he's, he's fourth favourite to be the best player in the division. What the hell do I do with him? <laughs> I might ask Twitter. I'm going to get this on Twitter. What on earth do I do with this guy? He's in the Dream Eleven and one of the favourites favourites or player of the season but doesn't seem to actually be able to do any football positions right twitter's gonna save me you lot with no use at subtle advertising subtle ad i mean look he's he's a makeshift central midfielder maybe he is a central midfielder well um, I, th I don't know Maybe he's a midfielder. Not even a particularly defensive one. He can't tackle. Whatever let him think that he was a defender when he can't tackle or a striker when he can't shoot. Oh. School teacher put me at left back in the semi final, even though I had no left foot. As revenge, I sabotaged the game. Nice. Um, can we get this guy? For almost nothing if we can we'll bring him in we can't make an offer we'll just keep scouting him we probably don't need to sign any more players at this point perhaps he's related to colonel sander and is living out off of his name maybe well we're not off to ireland this year what does the team report look like i think we're probably i think this is probably the squad i would really like a really good right winger. We do have some budget left. So I'd like a really good right... Oh, brilliant. A really good right winger. Andy Reid, the little fat fella from Nottingham Forest. We're just going to take him on loan. We can't scout him because he's outside of our scouting range. But he came up on the last one of these we did. So let's just take him on loan. It's not costing us anything. There's zero risk to taking that guy on loan. We might do the same thing, see if we can get a goalkeeper. Can we scout any of these? No. <laughs> Which one do we go for then? Who's the biggest? Six foot five, he's the front runner. Six foot rubbish. What's the point of him? Six foot two. Right, let's try and sign him on loan then. Because we just have no way of scouting them. Um, what else could we do with 
just a scattergun random scouting. This guy's in the loot and first team squad. Come on, Cole. In you come. He's going to actually cost a little bit of money. We don't know if he's good. This is this is brilliant. Random football signings. It's perfect. Everything about it's perfect. This guy's actually been scouted at some point. And he's good. He's actually good. Come on, then. In you come. How many loans are we allowed? We'll just take those four. You need a backup libero. Maybe. Ask for a coaching badge. I, I think I asked for one too recently, so it's not... Yeah, it's not there yet. I've asked for one too recently before we had money. So now I've just got to ask again before we run out. We are due another bunch of money to come in from getting knocked out of the Conference League. Um, top young player. No Sanders on there. But again, three of our boys. We've got a good squad. Should we see what Twitter says about Colonel Sanders? You build a system to suit him. Too good not to use. Box to box. Uh, let's see. We've got a vote for box to box midfielder. Looks like he could be better. Thanks. Centre mid. What is that beautiful specimen? Deep line playmaker. Build the team around him. He's a libero. I'm not going to use a libero in the Welsh Premier League. Ay, ay, ay. No. Dun, 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 dun. Why do they? Oh, they're the ones who were left out of the European squad, aren't they? try and win one of the cups to add a trophy to my name i mean that's always the plan we'd like to win a double we got to the welsh cup final when we were still down in tier two but it all we don't really talk about it, it went a little bit wrong it was clates's fault clates came in and ruined it ruined it with his bad vibes demand more fm is in say hello to demand more fm everybody go and check out the video we put out today beautiful stuff i, I retweeted it earlier i believe Kev, you wouldn't use a libero in Italy. Do I look Spanish to you? What What is it about me that looks Spanish? You did retweet it. Hey, see, Kev remembers things. <laughs> Your name should be Kevin Tinkerman Chapman. Oh, that sounds like a paedophile's name. No, no one wants to have Tinkerman as their middle name. I do tweet a lot. There you go. We've got a goalkeeper. Scouting's for losers. Look, we've just got a better goalkeeper than we already had. Just purely on picking the one that was tallest. This is the new system. <laughs> Pick a physical attribute that we can get out of an email. Right, we're, have we're having him. He's tall. Collings is upset. Well, Collings, Billy. Can I call you Billy? You're also six foot five. I was going to diss him about his height. No, I don't have anything. <laughs> what do I say to Billy? Well, Billy, it was like this. I saw he was six foot five and decided to bring him in. But boss, I'm six foot five. Ah. Sorry, Billy. Remember when you were in the Dream Eleven last year? I think your new buddy is now. He's not. Rocco over at TNS still is. He's only six foot three. Pathetic. Look how he has to have his hair to try and get an extra two inches so he can compete with my boys. We should have put Billy forward for corners. Right, what's up, Billy? What's wrong with you? Come on. Come and have a cuddle. Come and have a good old cuddle. Um, <laughs> Do I have the option of... I'm not planning to use him in your position. Competition. For, I'm a professional, so I'll leave this here. Good. Don't need to hear the rest of your sentence. I'm not a professional. Oh, we've got a lot of unhappy players all of a sudden. Ding. Dun, dun, dun. Right, are we going to do it again? Just, I mean, he's got very straight hair. Oh, 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 look at him. Look at him. He's not as good as what we were. Look, 
Colonel Sand. I mean, I'm going to call him it. Just so we don't forget the libero. The libero. There you go. <laughs> I mean, he looks over the moon with that nickname, doesn't he? Thanks, boss. I didn't get relentlessly bullied like that when I was at school. Oh, you're so original, boss. You called me Colonel. No one's ever done that before. No one's ever thrown popcorn chicken at me while I was trying to do my paper round, boss. Thanks. There's an employment tribunal coming in here. Put my hat on. Hey, there he is. Beautiful. I never showed you my KFC shirt. It's here somewhere. No, that's just a dirty shirt. Um. We're going to say I never showed you it because they never sent me one. Don't know where that's gone. <sighs> Just finished my quiz. Why did Kev sign the libero? <laughs> Why wouldn't I? Where's the mask? It's over on the windowsill, Shady. It needs to air. It stinks. Did you search for what's the stinkiest mask on the internet and then send me that? What's the mug situation like, Kev? We don't need to get into that tonight. Luckily, I haven't set Dave Cam back up again, so there's no way of me showing you how clean my desk is. Unluckily, I want to show you how clean my desk is. I really, really do. I just can't because, unfortunately, I haven't set the Dave Cam back up, I don't think. Have I set Dave Cam back up? No, it's still me, look. No, it's not. It's not me. Doing that isn't going to help, Kev, because it's not the same camera. Hold on. Um... Let's turn. What am I done? What have I done there? Hey, there he is. Um, there's a few mugs at the moment. I'm not proud of myself. Sorry, I've only got one camera on. I'm not proud of myself. Um, these are only from like the last two or three days, though. There's the chicken mask, look, Shady. Just there. Stinky old thing. Stinky, stinky old thing. Um, you and I both know your desk is covered in mugs and junk. There's no junk on it, just some mugs. That's that. I promise you, that's like two days worth of mugs. I don't like leave them there forever. I, I leave them there until we don't have any left in the kitchen, and then I take them all up and stick them in the dishwasher. Some days there's no mugs in it. Some days it's just mugs. Anna gets cross with me. There's a mug on the seat too. How dare I actually looked then and I was like, oh, I know what he's done there. The rascal. He's outworded me. How chucklesome. I've got that chicken mask photo on my photo. Uh change Sanders training to midfield just to see what happens. We probably should do that, shouldn't we? Do I do I buy mugs on the never never? As in I never never take him to the kitchen. Whee, whee. There's only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's only nine mugs there. That is like two days worth of mugs. You've got to remember I drink an extraordinary amount of coffee and I always forget to take the mugs up, reuse the same mug more than once. That would be doable if my office was on the same floor of the house as my kitchen. But I always forget to take it. But then when I'm up there, I'm like, well, I want a coffee now. Well, I'm just going to get another mug and I'll take it down. And then they just accumulate. <laughs> How do you need nine mugs in two days? Normally, I'd get through ten, but I haven't had my final drink of the day yet. But I'll take them all up tomorrow morning, probably. I'll try and re remind me at the end of the stream to take them up, but I won't. I'll go up there. I'll have a wee. I'll put a T-shirt on and I'll sit back down to do another hour of work before bed. And I'll bring a like a green tea down in another mug, and then that'll be the tenth one. You need a dumb waiter uh, or a smart one. I, what I really need is a butler and or a cleaner. And I won't let me get a cleaner because apparently uh, we're not we're not fancy enough to have a cleaner. She doesn't want to have to clean the house ready for a cleaner to come round and finish it off, which I don't understand the logic of. I don't mind a cleaner seeing my filth. The idea is they're here to fix it. 
I don't take a load of medication before I go to the doctor. Coffee machine, mini fridge and office. Um, yeah, but where do I get water from then? I still need water to put in the coffee machine. Very middle class. Look, I've ascended to the middle classes in recent years. Have you not heard I'm the richest man in football manager, apparently? I'm just going to... I'm going to go with it now. Do I brush my teeth before the dentist? Not directly before. I'm not giving him the pleasure. I don't want him to smell mint on my breath. He'll know what I've been up to. A water cooler. I actually looked into getting a water cooler. And again, Anna just took my iPad off me and said I wasn't allowed one. Some, I mean, toilet water. That is a good... The utility room is the other side of this door. I could just put a second coffee machine in there and go and have just one mug that goes back... Like when I was a teacher and I would have only like two or three mugs at the school and they'd just get washed at half term. <laughs> every, every few weeks, I could just take my filth encrusted mug upstairs and run it through the dishwasher four times. But I could put a coffee machine in there and just go back and forth in there. There's a tap in there. We're sorted. And um, we've just got an away goal again. It's back on, boys and girls. Anna doesn't want me to spend the MI6 money, I know. Get a washing up bowl. No, I am washing up. What do you think this is? I haven't worked hard all my life to start washing up again now. <laughs> I've washed my last mug. Um, if we score again, this might actually happen. When Amy's here, pay her to take him up. Look, I didn't become the richest man in football manager by paying people to do things. I keep my money tight to my chest. You were a teacher once, so now we know where Big Clate's got that from. Always copying Kev. <laughs> once you go dishwasher, you never go back. Exactly. Can we not concede this? Come on, Billy. I've always rated you. Billy, if you save this, you're my keeper this season. Come on, Billy. Billy! Use the washing up bowl as a transporting device, not to wash in. I'd rather just get disposable cups, but again, apparently, that's bad for the environment. Just like my suggestion to get disposable plates before we got a dishwasher. I just wanted to eat every meal off of paper plates and just throw them away afterwards. And apparently, that wasn't a grown-up idea. To me, it seemed incredible. Save the turtles. That is one of the posters that Anna stuck on the old kitchen wall. She knows I like a turtle. Food tastes ten times better off proper proper plates. Food tastes its very best out of polystyrene or cardboard, because nothing beats delicious takeaway food. So, you know, pizza tastes best out of cardboard. So, ergo, uh, all food probably tastes best off of cardboard. Um, it looks like we've knocked out of the Europa Conference League, everybody. What's my favourite fast food? Oh, oh, how long have we got left on the stream? Have we got time to cover this? Um, 90 minutes. We might just get it in. Um, my favourite fast food is probably pizza. But that comes with multiple provisos. Um, sorry. My favourite fast food is um, fried chicken. It's delicious, specifically the um, I need a big the Big Daddy box meal. That's a thing, isn't it? Love that. It's delicious. Um, I like pizza. Domino's is the best pizza. Um, I I mean I'll eat anything. I will eat anything. I just I I'm lazy. I made a risotto today for the first time in my life. I've eaten risotto before, but I've never been bothered to make it because it's so much faffing about, putting all the stock in, spoon by spoon. I haven't got time for risotto making. I did make a risotto today and it was all right. Papa John's is the best pizza. I mean, it's not. Papa John's tastes like dirt. And that disgusting, buttery, garlicky, buttery thing that they claim is a sauce. Oh, it's vile.
Oh, 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 he's going forward. Oh, Taylor Crossdale, beautiful. Once again, Kevin and I find ourselves in a disagreement. This time, it's not even your fault. I mean, I hear from Americans that Domino's is bad in America. Here, Domino's is comfortably the best pizza. Um, I guess Domino's pizza in America perhaps isn't any good. But here, it's great. And Papa John's here is dirt. I hadn't had Papa, John, Papa John's until we moved and I got really excited because I'd heard good things on the internet and then we had it a couple of times they have a decent vegan range That the vegan stuff at Papa John's is better than at Domino's but just the, the normal pizza much better at Domino's and then the, the, sauce, the sauce at Papa John's is just horrible I don't know what they were thinking all chain pizza takeaways are bad. Um, it depends. I like a nice greasy takeaway pizza. Remember, I live in England. We don't have good pizza here. I meant Pizza Hut, Kev. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Would rather have my local kebab house pizza than Papa John's. Kebab house pizza is when you have like kebab meat on a pizza from the kebab shop. We uh, Back where I used to live, there was a kebab shop that was also a curry house. And obviously did all of the normal um, kebab shop stuff as well. So you'd get Donna kebab pizza, but it would taste a bit like curry because I didn't hadn't wiped the counter down properly before making it. That was the wrongest, most perfect meal you could ever get. Taylor Crosstail's got a hat trick here, I think. I mean, if I was Austria Vienna manager, I'd be looking at Martel Taylor Crosstail stuck down in wales thinking he's ruined us here today maybe he could come and play for us in austria now that you're currently visiting vienna i'll take you for a good naples star pizza i'll be there dominoes in the us is literally sweating with grease that's great though i want grease if i'm ordering it i mean maybe i misunderstand why people order takeaways if i'm ordering a takeaway i'm looking for some grease that's what I want. Loads of delicious grease. There's nothing like the eight pound pizza from the chippy. So bad, but so good. See, I won't go to a chippy that does stuff like pizzas and kebabs. If I see a kebab elephant leg in the in the window of a fish and chip shop, I know they're not taking their fish and chips seriously. So I'm not interested. Oh, these like have actually dropped their expectation to be registered. That's all right. Then I thought they were going to insist that they still got registered even though we'd been knocked out and um, we now have a big pile of cash which is beautiful can i get my coaching course hooray if they say no now i'm gonna resign wayne don't make me resign what are you doing whilst we appreciate it's a very valid thing to want to do we fear that bettering yourself could lead to a bigger club coming in for your services wayne you pillock that's ex <laughs> that's exactly what i want Come on, Wayne. Right. Hello, Wayne. How you doing? Oh, you're such a moron. He know he's got it all figured out, hasn't he? <laughs> uh, but I can't resign. There's two reasons I can't resign. I've not actually won anything yet. And we've now got the best squad in the league by a mile. So we'll we'll win the league this year. So why would I resign when we could win something for the first time in the save? Um, Basking Sky, thank you for the sub. But also, because I don't have the coaching badges, if I resign, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna get a job somewhere else. Ah. Uh. I'll win the league and then resign. We're leaving at the end of the season. Bum, bum, bum. 
Oh, we've got a we've got a bet for the next game. Who are we playing? TNS. So this is in the Nathaniel MG Cup, isn't it? This isn't an actual league game. Oh no. So we've got the league game first, then the cup game. So this is I mean, this is a massive match to start the season with. We're at home against TNS, first game of the season. This is where we find out if we're actually any good. This is a bit worrying. We're here to have fun, not to win. Here for a good time, not for a long one. Yeah, but we want to win as well. Winning is fun. Wayne knows the title of the save. I know, I need to have a word with him, don't I? We thought he was such a mug. Why are we getting all our players raided? Um, we thought he was such a mug when we turned up and he'd been the manager previously and flopped. Would I not be tempted to leave mid-season? Not if we're going to win the league, no. Because I want to win the league. Right, is Andy Reid a little fat guy from Forest? He's not. But he's a half-decent winger, so I guess that's all right. Right, scouting meeting. I think this is our squad now, isn't it? I've said that a couple of times already. We've still got another player potentially coming in. But we do have some good strength in depth now. We're still within wage budget, just. We're all good. You have to win this. I have over 100k on you. That's mad. Why would you do that? <laughs> oh my word. Right. So Collins is captain, Crossdale vice captain. I can leave that. That works. I have 30k on TNS, 25k on TNS. <laughs> Shall I play the Libero? You're going to look at Kettering and Nunley's Legend soon. I probably should. I just keep forgetting. They're dead to me now. I will at some point. I haven't for tomorrow's video. I just forgot again. Right, Cole Bliss is in. On loan from Luton. That's the guy we... Now, if they can get a work permit, I'm frustrated. We couldn't get a work permit for him. So why can Bath get a work permit if we can't get a work permit? Grumpy, grumpy, grumpy Kev. Right. Now we've got all of our players in. So Bliss and Colonel Sanders are both in the Dream 11. Robinson's in the Dream 11. Do we have to play a back three so we can play our libero? When did I record today's video? Was it yesterday? Yes. Yeah. I had an yeah, I had an epic recording session yesterday actually. I recorded the um the cup final was the transfer window and the first episode of the new season back to back to back yesterday. Um so you'll see me wearing the same suit all the way through. Are TNS still in Europe? That's a question that someone asked several minutes ago. Um, so they've been knocked out of the Champions League. They got through the first and second rounds of the Champions League. Got into the... Oh, so they, they got through the t first two preliminary rounds. Got knocked out of the first qualifying round by Malmo. And now they've got either... Oh, wow. Um, they're in the Conference League that we've just been knocked out of. They're in the third round of that now against Linfield, which... That's actually probably going to be reasonably close. But we are sandwiched in between those two ties. So hopefully they put the reserves out against us. Kev doesn't watch comments incoming. People don't watch in enough detail, I don't think, to pay attention to that. Oh, Billy Collings on the transfer list now. To be fair, he's the third choice goalkeeper. So I'm going to transfer list him just because we don't need him. He's going to be furious. He was playing in Europe for us last week. Now he's on the transfer list. Dun, dun. I'd expect TNS Linfield to be a very good tie. I'd watch that were it on television. I would not. Did my knee get any better? Uh, no, it's still pretty sore. I'm just kind of working around it at the moment. 
Nobody wants Colin, uh, Billy Collins. Should we try and loan him out? Get someone paying his wages. Because this was, this was the trick we were doing last night and it was working a treat. Because they're all out of contract at the end of the year. We don't actually have to get rid of them. We can just loan them. I love how the cup is being decided in the second round. That's like having City versus Liverpool. I know. All the people who bet on TNS to win are panicking now. Well, they should have got all of the data first. Do I even watch the Champions League final? Nope. Not interested. Don't even know who's won it recently. The last one I'm even vaguely aware of was when Liverpool won. Because I was down in London for Comic-Con that weekend. And it was on in one of the pubs that we were in. And we didn't stay until the end. It was too noisy. There was noisy hooligans in there. So we just went back to the hotel and played a board game. I'm very different to a lot of you, aren't I? Very, a very different, complicated man. Went for a nice walk next to the Thames. And then went and played a board game. What board game? I don't really remember. You think I would with all the detail I've just given you. Who the hell is Cameron Green? I mean, we'll we'll bring him in. Have I ever been interested in football? Yes. Up until it got ruined by money. So up until pretty much... I, I started to get... Uh, even, as, even as early on as Blackburn, I was like, this is a bit wrong that Blackburn have just gone and won the league. Blackburn are rubbish. But I let it slide. And then Chelsea did it. And it was like, this is this is getting old now. And then Man City did it. And I was like, you know what? I'm out. And I've just not really followed football since Man City. But I still love football. I still, I still love football manager. I've still played football manager every day. And I still watch Posh. Um, but everything else, I'm just out. I'm not interested. Right. Last night, we were having to offer them out three times for loan. It might be a little bit late in the summer now to do it. But we'll try him a third time. Have I ever watched Peterborough Northern Star? No. Watch Scottish football then. No, because it'll be rubbish. There you go. Look, third time's a charm. Collings is going out on loan. Am I still under death cycling? Not right now. Uh, but I'm I'm doing it a little bit. But as soon as my knee starts to hurt, I'm stopping. I'm a little bit concerned that it might be that that's causing the knee pain. So I'm a little bit unsure what to do with that at the moment. Right, Colonel Sanders is on the bench because we don't know what to do with him. What we do need to do is get him training to play in midfield. Let's just see if Twitter did make a decision in the end of what to do with him. Um, with a surname like that, surely he should be on the showdown. Yes, he should. Deep line for... Ah, goalkeeper. Why didn't I think of goalkeeper? Wide target, man. Play a libero. He can't defend! Box to box all day. Right. Development, training... Libero indeed. Right, let's get him training to be a box to box midfielder. Sorted. Sorted. Get a new knee. I might have to. Three at the back. Never! I'm not boring enough to do three at the back. Um, we're playing TNS back to back, so I want you to leave your mark here. Does that mean with studs? I think that means with studs. That's what. They, hopefully, they'll read between the line. I want you to bruise them. Bruise them good. We're top of the league. 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 Huzzah. Beautiful. Come on, boys. Let's show them how different we are to the team they kept beating last year. In fact, we beat them a couple of times, didn't we? They couldn't really cope with our diamond. Everyone else figured it out apart from TNS. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at this. We can do crosses now and everything. We're a football team. This is our new boy, Reed. Beautiful cross. Beautiful finish. 1-0 to Hanetley. No way you've signed Robbie Err. Should I know who Robbie Err is? 
We do what Hashtag did, but we create home. That's the plan. It might have even have happened by now if it wasn't for the pandemic. It was something I was looking into this time last year. But it'll be a while now. There's no point doing it while there's a pandemic on. Do, 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 do. Come on. What's this? Why are we letting them have the ball? Why are we giving them a free kick? What's this? What's this for? What's that in aid of? Oh, I thought it had gone in. What would you do if a starting club in London Legend got a tycoon takeover? Spend loads of money and have great fun doing it and then leave for a better job. Probably. Because um, I'd still get offered something better. But I've never had a tycoon takeover at my club. In all my years playing football manager, I've never had a tycoon takeover. So... I don't think it's very likely to happen anytime soon. Right, come on. We need another goal. What was the bet? Was it win versus lose or draw? Or win or draw versus lose? What were the terms of the bet? I thought Niang had done so well there, but he actually just gave the ball away whilst looking, looking hard doing it. It was win versus lose or draw. Okay. Kev wants to start his own club. Definitely the richest man in FM. I mean, I'll I'll take it. I'll take being the richest man in FM. Not the highest paid, but perhaps I'm just more sensible with it. There's at least two of them who are earning a lot more money than I am. And if you count all of the FIFA like who play FM as well, I'm probably not even in the top 10 for actual income. But... I'm a qualified financial advisor and a fully verified adult. I don't spend it all on stupid things. What about the vlog channel? I mean, that's like saying, Kev, what about that paper round you do? Because they pay about the same. Pretty much every video on the vlog channel is demonetized. Um, not so much now I'm not really talking about Andy, but it was constantly demonetized. The whole time we were daily vlogging, it was very it was almost always demonetized. Um and it doesn't get any we do four videos a month. So yeah, the vlog channel makes no difference at all. People seem to people seem to think it makes loads of money. But it doesn't, because it doesn't get any views. And it it's often demonetized. Why is it demonetized? Because autism's a dirty word. <laughs> Arsenal shirt isn't stupid things. No, it's a business expense. That's a prop for video. You can see it behind the other shirt. And then it will be used as a marketing tool when I give it away in exchange for people promoting the series. So it's got a dual purpose. It's a sensible investment. I'll make my money back 10 times over on that shirt. Just like every one of those copies of Football Manager I bought to give away, I was making my money back 10 times over on them because they were all promoting the affiliate link. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, by the way, talking of autism... National Autistic Society officially sent me a letter. Um, I'm just going to read you the letter because it's about you lot. <laughs> I've had a letter home about you lot. Where is it? Um, where are we? I'm trying to find it. Here we go. So this is the person who was trying to ring me last week. We've had a letter home. Dear Kevin, I'm writing on behalf of the National Autistic Society to thank you for your wonderful gift of £3,052 plus gift aid, £3,514.57p total, raised through Kevin's FM21 streamer showdown season one. The money you've raised will be a great help in continuing our mission to transform lives, change attitudes, and create a society that works for autistic people. We transform lives by providing support, information, and practical advice for the 700,000 autistic adults and children in the UK, as well as their 3 million family members and carers. 
Since 1962, autistic people have turned, us, turned to us at their key moments or challenging times in their lives, be it getting a diagnosis, going to school or finding work. We change attitudes by providing public understanding of autism and the differences many autistic people face. We also work closely with businesses, local authorities and government to help them provide more autism friendly spaces, deliver better services and improve laws. We've come a long way, but it's not good enough. There's still so much to do to increase opportunities, reduce social isolation and build a brighter future for autistic people with your help we can make it happen as the community fundraiser for your region i'm here to help should you ever like to discuss further fundraising or any ideas um please do get in touch thank you so much for your support kind regards the person who sent me the letter um well done everyone very well done you're lovely you're awesome thank you um one moment I just noticed something else while I was on my email. Ah, excellent. Sold my PlayStation 4. Marvellous. That was quick. I only went on sale earlier. I, put, I probably put the buy it now price a little low. Never mind. Got a shot of that. Right. Where did we get to? why is the draw now because the game should have been played last week um, but we were both off in Europe so we're the only one that's not happened yet so if we oh there you go we'll be away against Cumbrian and Clydach Clydach I imagine they're looking at that draw thinking oh, I'm glad we turned up then there's no good outcome for them is there right so we play TNS again now. Um, after, hopefully, they get themselves knocked out of Europe. And they'll all be all grumpy. The Barnsley Twitter account was suspended today. What did they do? A copyright infringement. I'm seeing the answer there. Ah, oh, there you go. Chris McLaughlin. He can leave. He's not good enough. Yeah, you can leave. My spacebar button on my mouse isn't working. What is causing this? Come on. We need my button. We need my button. Are we working now? Yeah, we're working now. The TNS go through. The second leg isn't until the 17th. I think. So we'll find out midweek. What did I get for it? Like 190? My PS4, that is. Which isn't bad. It's just been sat gathering dust since I got my PS5. Use the actual space bar then. Do I look Spanish to you? If I wanted to play a game two-handed, I'd play Fortnite and get paid gazillions for it. I want to play one-handed. It's Football Manager. is it ps4 pro um yeah it's a pro i guess i need to post the thing now that's gonna be a pain in the bum that's what my ps5 is doing so yeah exactly i'm uh, i'm on a mission to not turn the ps5 on until they release a game for it that i want to play i'm hoping they're they're witnessing my process my protest happening i've not turned the ps5 on yet this year we will have a look how tns did in europe yes they did they win or not i don't understand who won i need more information no they lost on away goals. That was close. Hopefully they'll be gutted. So they only went one round further than we did. Sony has registered my complaint. Good. Right then. 
Right then. The Spanish player that looks similar to me. Do I look Spanish to you? Billy Collins is gone. Bye bye, Billy. Okay, I've rotating the cup. No, I want to win the cup. We're not rotating. Do I look Spanish to you? Right, we've got plenty of money left to bring players in during the season as well. Right. Where's Colonel Sanders? I, d I don't know what to do with him. Is he a midfielder yet? We're going to have to start bringing him on in midfield, aren't we? We need to be bringing him on as first substitution in midfield. I'm not playing him as a libero. Right. Go out there and impress me. Do I look Spanish to you? Needs to be an emote. Definitely. Come on. Do, do. Here we go. We're clear. Look, Martel Taylor Crossdale was in all the space. Give it to Martel. Won't somebody give it to Martel? He was in so much space for so long then. Now we're going to give it to him. Doesn't quite get there. In the home video, it said I managed home and Lincoln. You are. You are. I understand. Bum, 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 bum. I don't think I've ever managed Lincoln. Hello, Dale. Start him in midfield. What is this nonsense? He can learn to play midfield. We didn't get Ridge back. He's dead to me. But we've got loads of players who are much better than him. Ridge is a loser. He's gone vegan over the summer as well. Decided he's a false nine. He scored 60 goals in two years and has now decided he's a false nine. I'm too good to be a striker. Just call me messy now. That's what his mum calls him when she tidies his room. If you slowed it down, it said for both teams, the manager was Kevin Chapman. Nice. Perhaps I've got a secret second job. Oh, we're ahead. Ding, 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 ding. Do, do, do. Uh, mods, if you're there, I'm no, I'm seeing what Flynn FM is saying when he's just come in. Mods, are you there? Mods. Calling all mods, calling all mods. Can we set up a command? Just giving a brief story of the save so far. I think that would be handy. For people new to the stream. Just like uh, we're in season four. We started unemployed. Um, Now it's our third full season with Lanetli. We, um... Yeah, all that stuff. Why is he gone quiet? What do you mean? Have I gone quiet? Not gone quiet, have I? But you've made me pull the microphone in. I don't think I need to. I've not gone quiet. Must be your ears. Right, come on now. Oh, I forgot we had long throws on. Oh, and he's not even going to do one. It's confused everybody though. Oh, this is a this is a brilliant double bluff. You're asking mods to do something, then I couldn't hear me. Oh, that's weird. How come you've been at Italy four years and a journeyman, by the way? You've been looking for jobs. Firstly, it's not necessarily a journeyman. Um, secondly, uh, because no one else will take me. We keep applying for stuff. Can we stay to do a building a nation save? Probably not, because I'll get bored doing that. <laughs> was doing a bit with the mod voice thing I, and everyone's confused now oh oh what a save from langley that's what happens when you bring in a six foot five goalkeeper we've needed one for a long time <laughs> bum Bum. Oh, I'm bumming. I'm aggressively bumming now. I need to tone the bumming down a little bit. 
Right, here you go. We're going to do a long throw this time, surely. No, we've done it again. We've done them again. They can't cope with this. These two have come up with this on the training ground on their own, and it's glorious to watch. It confuses them every time. Although they are going to score from the counter-attack. No, they're not. No, they're not, because we're great. They might do. I'm off to go and watch Pab stream. I mean, why do that to yourself? I'm streaming. Pab's lovely and everything, but are we streaming Animal Crossing or some weird indie game? If you want a, if you want a Pab quota for the week, you should just listen to the Mature Gamer podcast. He's all over that. When he constantly forgets to insert the adverts, he's all over it. He just never inserts the adverts because he hates us getting paid, that boy. He wants us on the bread line. There you go. We're going to make a triple substitution, including Colonel Sanders, the libero, playing as a box-to-box -box midfielder. We just annoyed Pab with his channel point claimed sound bites. Oh, bless him. Is he full-time on Twitch yet? He needs to get on that. If you're not sub to Pab, you really should be. Oh, he is. You're as in. You're as in. I don't know how to say his name. You are. Yeah. Ugh. Uh, perhaps it's uh, uh, as in. Smart outside across out. Uh, Kev, you all right? Yeah, that's his name. Uh. Should I have a channel point thing to get a play. Turn this ship around. I'm never playing that song again. I got a copyright strike for it on YouTube. That song's dead. Until I've clarified with Epidemic Sound how my license actually works. Because we might be all right. No, oh, it's just loud. Good. Dun, dun. Plus, I don't want to give you lot any more power than you already have. And it, it annoys me when I have to give you players. Dun, dun, dun. We've just beaten twice. So good we are. I think you can leave now. You've just won the double. Their manager might get sacked. He's just got knocked out of two tournaments in a week. Knocked out of two cups in four days. Beautiful work. What does TNS stand for? These days, it's the New Saints, isn't it? Used to be Total Network Solutions back in the day. But now it's the New Saints, I believe. move to TNS. Don't need to. We're better than TNS now. We're the biggest team in Wales. What is the cup? It's the Nathaniel MG Cup. Um, do we want to let Tom Pike go out on loan? He's our third best DM. Um, yeah, he can go out on loan, but they're going to pay. We're not. You're going to pay the full fiver. There you go. Negotiation. Um, only know TNS through Jeff Stelling saying they'll be dancing in the streets of TNS every time they won. Oh, dear. Make be a mod a channel point reward. No, because mods are stupid. Mods, I love you. You're not stupid, just mods in general. I don't want more mods. I've got too many mods. Can you pronounce the above message for me? The New Saints of Oswestry Town and Clan Santhrade is the full name, I believe. That's as much as I can try. It's not even close, I imagine. Um, right. Colonel Sanders is going to play. He's a defender now. I mean, he can't defend. He can't really head or tackle. But we're not going to let that... Hold, we're not going to hold that against him. We're going to play him in defence and it'll be fine. Do 
Are TNS the only team other than Port Vale not to be named after a place? Um, Arsenal, Celtic, Rangers don't have Glasgow in the title, do they? Does a Celtic, Glasgow, Celtic officially? I think they're just Celtic, aren't they? There's loads of, play, loads of places. Yeah, Everton, Hibs. Yeah, there's loads of places. Hashtag United. Yeah, I mean, there's loads. Range. I don't. Is Rangers full name Glasgow Rangers? I'm not sure. It might be. Arsenal's not named after a place, is it? Arsenal's a place in London. Arsenal's a tube stop named after the football club. The football club was originally Woolwich Arsenal because it was at the arms factory in Woolwich. And then it relocated north of the river, dropped the Woolwich, kept the name Arsenal, definitely not named after a place. They had to stop being Glasgow Rangers. There you go. So they're just Rangers. So neither Rangers or Celtic have Glasgow in the name. Dum, dum. Bum, bum, bum. Um, Forest Green as well. That's not a place, is it? This is a fun game. Give me more. Um, Northampton's a poor excuse for a place, but I think it just about qualifies. someone trying to justify that Arsenal is a place because there's a tube station named after it it's not the, the tube station is named after the club the club isn't named after the tube station <coughs> um, trying to think of any more there must be more this has completely derailed the stream now. Um, hmm. Yeah, Vauxhall Motors is a good shout. Cadbury Town. Uh, Crystal Palace. Crystal Palace is in London, isn't it? Um, Juventus, yeah, we're 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 sticking to uh, we're sticking to British clubs, I think. Uh, Tottenham's a place, I think, isn't it? Yeah, Tottenham's a place. Oh, oh, oh! How did that stay out? My word. Dun, 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 dun. West Ham. Um... Again, I know West West Ham got a DLR stop. Is it? At, it's not actually a place, though, is it? West Ham. I don't think. West Ham is. Is it? I know there's East Ham. I know where East Ham is in London. But West Ham, I don't believe I've been to. West Ham is a district in London. Probably one I've never had reason to venture into or know anything about. 
Um, right, we're going to get Collins on and move Colonel Sanders forward as he continues to learn how to play there. And we'll swap those two over. And for my final trick, we're going to take off Nyang and bring on Boateng. Come on, boys. How are we not winning? How do you beat TNS twice and then get stuck here against Kadifmu? Oh, for goodness sake. Ah. Sheepdogs just posted his second video in three days. Is the man okay? Tell me he's not still using that purple and yellow background for his thumbnails. I just want to... I've said this to him as well. I want to sit him down and just ask him if he's ever seen a thumbnail on YouTube before. <laughs> oh, my word. Come on, we'll have an equaliser here. Beautiful, disallowed. Rubbish. 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 Well, I googled it. Only Port Vale and Arsenal, apparently. Interesting. Can't remember what the original question was. I guess Port Vale and Arsenal are the only ones in England because we were talking about TNS, weren't we? Get him on content clinic. Uh, I've said to a few people on Twitter that have asked for me to look at their channels. Watch through the stream first. Because I've looked at your channel. And it looks like you haven't watched. You put four hours of work in watching the stream and making the changes I recommend in that. Then I'll look at your channel. I'm not going to keep repeating myself. Is your study book applicable to dissertations or is it for lower years? Um, it's basically for studying, just in general. It's not even specifically just about like education exam things. It's just full of tips about actual studying. So I think the techniques in it would help. All right. We're going back for transfers. It's all gone wrong. Is my book on Google Books? No, it's Kindle exclusive. Or, well, not just Kindle, Amazon. You can buy a paperback of Amazon or you can download it on Kindle. gonna say we had this guy at leicester didn't we or posh we signed him somewhere the fact that he's come up on our scout report is ridiculous what if team cohesion is the issue no it's not it's fine team cohesion is overrated people get too hung up on it as long as it's not negative you're all right Right, he is a very good winger. Can we afford him? Probably not. We'll try. Yeah, we're not getting him. Um, can we afford him? We've tried for him already, haven't we? And we couldn't afford him last time we tried. No. Um, I don't think... I think we're now at that point where we're not going to bring anyone in better than what we've already got. That frustrating point of every save that you get to. Again, we've tried this guy already and couldn't get him. So, yeah, we're not going to get anyone better now. It's red. doesn't matter that it's red. It's not negative. It's average. It's fine. 
It's fine. Bum, bum, bum. Plus, we've just beaten TNS twice. It was just a freak result in that last game. We're going to beat Barry off East Enders now, and then we'll storm up the league again. Mm, do, do. Taking bowling. Can't. We're part time. There's no time for bowling. We have to do football the two evenings a week I've got them. <laughs> have to remind them how to kick a football. Dun, 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 dun. Isn't that the guy who was poached? I'm sure he was poached. But he's back or was he's still here? We he never left. How odd. Right. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, this all seems acceptable to me. We'll find our best team. Come on. Enjoy the match. Do a football. All that stuff. It's us against one man who used to be in EastEnders. That was a weird punch from that goalkeeper. Ooh. Ooh. Kev, notice me. There you go. You're, you're, consider yourself noticed. <laughs> Wasn't Barry the one who got pushed down a hill? I think he might have been. Yeah, Janine killed Barry. I've never watched EastEnders, but some things, some things are just so culturally relevant that I know about them anyway. And Barry getting pushed down a hill by Janine is right up there. We've got a keeper called Prince on trial. Is that an acceptable first name? I assume that's his title. It's obviously not his name. Come on, long throws ahoy. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I love them. Long throws make me happy. Oh, it's like streamer showdown every night here in Wales. Oh. This is a problem. This is a problem. Might have to put my KFC hat on. Come on, sit up straight, Kev. Focus on the football. Get, your, get yourself sorted out. My chair's uncomfortable. That's the problem. I need my new chair. Didn't have a striker called Prince. No, I had a striker who was a prince. It's different. He wasn't called Prince. Prince isn't a name. Right, come on. Come on, boys. Come on. Sort your lives out. Shh. Any progress on the chair? I've not heard anything yet. No, I might, might have to... It feels unthinkable to even utter this. Might have to buy one. Which I really don't want to do. Don't these people know who I am? I don't buy things. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, look at it. Look at it. It's chaos. It's chaos. <laughs> oh, dear. Right. Let's get him on again. Right, here we go. Long throw again. More chaos, please. He can throw it a very long way. Surely this time it could. Oh, it's so much chaos every single time. Come on, boys. There's got to be a goal in us somewhere. Maybe from this side. And it's another long throw. Hooray! Colonel Sanders. The libero. That's his full name. He's in. He's in. So creative. Long throws are not overpowered. How dare you? What a finish. I knew he was a striker. 
It's, that's a lovely finish. Oh. <sighs> right, come on. Let's have a winner now. Another long throw, please. I should probably put my hat on to celebrate. Celebrate Colonel Sanders scoring. Stupid hat. Stupid unlucky hat. I need some tactical help. I thought so too. Oh, that hat is cursed. Put the chicken head on. I might have to, but first, a long throw. Oh, oh, oh. I might have to turn this off. It's ridiculous. Anyone that joined two minutes ago is probably wondering what is happening. They'll get caught up quick. It's all very straightforward. I'm slowly warming up to Little Zealand. Hooray! Well, back to back defeats. It's all gone wrong. The wheels are off. Now we're off to Newtown. Where we have to win. Or we're going to go back to the diamond and all these wingers we signed are a waste. The diamond never did us bad, apart from the entire second half of last season. I've been here the whole time and I'm wondering what the hell is happening. Welcome to the stream. Come on. Do a football. Maybe we need a fitness friendly midweek. Because we had a disrupted uh, pre-season. I think we're justified in just trying to get a little bit of fitness back here. Um, against the ragged school. What a name. Hewitt is developing concerns. I mean, Michael, come here. Michael, come here. You've been replaced. You're our fourth choice right back now. You're done. You've had two years. You are, what they call in the trade, finished. So... It's time for you to go. I'm going to promise you football, but then in the same breath, I am going to offer you out. And I'm just going to try and get rid of you. Now, don't take this the wrong way, Michael. Better players than you have had this treatment this summer. I just don't really want you here anymore. Check job security. What, well, my job? My job security will be fine. I will just have a little look at the job centre. There's nothing. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, well, we just got to keep offering him out on loan. Third time they go. This is what we've discovered over the last couple of nights. If at first no one loans them, loan, loan, and loan again. And then the third time they leave. And they never, ever, ever come back. Bum, bum. Right, that's the second loan. So this is the one where he leaves. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Ragged School is an excellent name. I'd like to go to the Ragged School. Feels like it should be just full of puppets. What? The system doesn't work anymore. Is your transfer listed? Have I missed that important step? has to be transfer listed and loan listed and then you do it i missed a step we try again my theory is the managers and directors of football of the other teams eventually get so annoyed at getting offered him every day that they just someone just takes him to stop the emails can you do me a favour tomorrow and check in on my player in non-league legend? Um, it won't be during the video because I've recorded all of them for the rest of the week now. Um, but I can... <clears throat> I can remember... I'll try and remember to check in on him at some point. Do, 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 do. Oh, come on. Get out of here. Get out. Is the transfer window closed? 
because that could be what's stopping this from happening. When does the trend? No, the transfer window closes any time now. So it should be Prime taking him away from a territory. Officially hate the Romanian league. It gets split into two halves at the end of the season. However, if you finish third in the top half, you still have to play the top team in the bottom half to try and qualify for the Europa Conference. I lost. That's brilliant. That is incredible. I like that. That's madder than Mexico. Which is the... that I mean, that's the benchmark for how mad a league can be. If it's madder than Mexico, you know it's mad. No one wants Hewitt. Right, we'll offer him out for a transfer for nothing again. My my trick isn't working anymore. It was so beautiful for so long and now it's not working. Which means we're going to have another grumpy boy around the place. The last thing we want is grumpy old boys. I mean, he's not any good. We don't want him. Withdraw. Greeny, Toodle Pip. Right, he's stuck here. Can we release him on a free? He's got a two year contract yet. Oh, God. Bum, bum. That's more like it. We'll take him. Put in the under 23s and don't worry about him. That is a very good shout. Don't need to think about him anymore. And um, we've signed this guy. We've not just signed him, we've snapped him up. Off of TNS, no less. Ooh. I mean, he was released by them at the end of the season, so it's not like we've stolen him directly from them. It looked like he was close to ever present for them last year. Close to ever present. Language, Kev. Brilliant, brilliant use of language. There you go. Don't need to worry about him anymore. He is a forgotten man. Go to job security. And if any jobs are insecure, you can declare interest in them. I'm not going to do that. I'm a man of integrity. I'm not going to declare interest in another man's job. We signed 24 players this summer. See, why is it... You sign four players for Arsenal and you're abusing the transfer system. You sign 24 players for Hanefli and that's all right. You have no team leaders in the squad. No, that's because we're in the lower leagues. We never have team leaders in the lower leagues. The player turnover is too high. I don't think at home have any team leaders even, even after all this time. Maybe Davis is a team leader by now. Do, 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 do. Cade, thank you very much for the sub. I'm in a Southern Prem with Boston Town and have two team leaders. Not too fancy. I've got two team leaders. All right. Team leaders are for losers. Not that I'm calling you a loser, but, you know, the facts speak for themselves. Team leaders are for losers. They're for losers. Mike Abirif's a team leader, is he? Well, there you go. You don't know my squad better than I do. Come on. Come on. Come on. We go back to winning way. Say, so why is Taylor Crosstail taking a free kick all the way back here? Who's decided that? I am remembering earlier in the stream when I said, I'm just going to do this without looking at it. Just do it quickly and then we'll check it later. We didn't go back and check it later, did we? Oh, dear. <laughs> Come on. This lot had quite a good start to the season, actually. They're up where we're supposed to be. Oh, that's what you get for a six foot five goalkeeper. The only teams we've beaten this season are good teams. 
we can't play against a dross anymore it's beneath us we need to motivate motivate ourselves against dross somehow oh this is good from taylor cross now that's a lovely goal i do have the best welsh squad by far we will win the league I love that the defender's name is Yeats. I love the fact that he's Yeats. He's called Yeats and takes the long throws. It's perfect. It's a lovely finish. 1-0. Have I played in Scotland yet? No, this is our first club. See, that puts us right up there in the title mix. We don't need to worry about what Barry and Cardiff Met Uni are doing. We're one point behind TNS as it stands. So that's the title race right there between us and them. Barry and Cardiff Met can have their little bit of fun now. They'll lose games soon enough. Let's not worry. Come on, Martel. He's drifting all over the place. He's everywhere, Martel Taylor Crossdale. He's beautiful. Oh, that's a oh, that's lovely. That's disallowed. It was lovely though. It was very good, but he's disallowed. Barry's our bogey side. Ah, we're not afraid of them. We'll never lose to them again. I promise we will never lose to them again. This could be a press conference. I promise you we will never lose to Barry from EastEnders again. It will just not happen. If we do, I will wear the chicken mask as punishment for one entire game. And it smells super bad, so I don't want to. So that's how serious I am about not losing to Barry ever again. 2-0. Might put the unlucky hat on to break the unluckiness of it. I'm doing a Scottish save along the same sort of lines as Apollo. Any tips? I'm walking the league and struggling in the Champions League. Um, don't get too attached to your players. They're not good enough. You need to be constantly upgrading. I did have Martel Taylor cross sell on Nonning to Legend both this year and several years ago when he was an absolute superstar for South End, which is why we signed him for Kettering this year and he didn't wasn't quite good enough. But he's certainly good enough for... This Hanekri side. I don't think it was Ipswich. I think it was South End. Ipswich had Thierry Ambrose and um, Kaziah Sterling. I think Taylor Crossdale was at South End. Shows how much I loved that save. That I that might be my favourite ever save. That that season of Unleashed Legend. You do love a hyphenated name. I mean, it's you can't avoid them, can you? Football's full of them these days. Everybody was hyphenating. Ooh. Yeah. Songs with Kev. Tough end was three years ago, was it? By golly. Dave Kevin Chapman. Exactly. Ricky Jade Jones is a hyphenated first name. His first name is Ricky Jade. His surname is Jones. Right, let's get Colonel Sanders on in midfield again. I'm I'm forcing this. Whether it hap I'm just gonna make sure it happens. James Dixon Nufka. I realise it's probably something to do with Newcastle, but it amuses me more to say Nufka. Thank you very much for the uh, Twitch Prime sub. Uh, what were his parents thinking calling him? Well, they didn't call him Jade. They called him Ricky Jade, didn't they? So I guess they were thinking. I mean, I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and role play and put myself in the shoes of his parents. They were probably thinking, "That's a nice name," so they gave him that. That would be my guess. Putting myself in their shoes. Have you played against Monmouth? I don't think so. Are they in this league? I don't think they are, are they? Come on, boys. We've got to hold on. We've got to hold on. Oh, my back's crunching. I need a new chair. Someone get me a chair company on the phone. Don't they know who I am? Right, there you go. We're back up to fifth. One point behind TNS. That's the important thing. And now we play against Banger. 
who are where are they also having a pretty poor start to the season speak to Zealand hello Zealand <laughs> what are we trying to achieve here Um, Linfield won the game against TNS in the Europa Conference thingy about a chair deal. Does Zealand make chairs? I imagine if Zealand's had a chair deal, it was probably with a US company as he's in the US. I want a, uh, a British chair. I have a chair in mind. How's little Jack? Little Jack is resting. He doesn't need to come out tonight. I only bring little Jack out when Big Jack's here. And Big Jack's not here. If he was British, he'd be Zedland. I like. I might start calling him that. You want an inferior chair? No, I want a good one. I want a British-made chair. Like, you know, the best chairs in the world. Brexit means British chairs for British streamers, exactly. What's my view on Ali Abdal? Who on earth is Ali Abdal? Kev needs to approach the chairman, exactly. Foreign chairs can't get a work permit. I mean, more to the point a foreign like an american chair manufacturer unless they have a distributor in this country that i'd have to approach them no one is sending a chair across the sea they're big bulky things so it just makes sense to get a chair that's made here I did a save on my local team in the fourth tier of Wales and signed a load of insane free agents in my second season. Somehow like Rubinho, Forresteri, Kyle Lafferty and Jack Rodwell. Wow. Have I heard of ships? I have heard of ships. But I still don't understand why I would want an inferior chair on a boat that takes forever. I would be hit with a customs charge when I could get a beautiful British made chair. Sorry, I thought you subbed to him on YouTube. Um, I probably do. I sub to a lot of people. I think everyone else uses subs differently to what I do because as a YouTuber myself, if I watch a video on a channel, I will sub to that channel. I don't ever go anywhere near my sub box anyway. I just watch what YouTube tell me to watch. Is he the guy who does like the uh, productivity stuff? I think he is quite good. The doctor in Cambridge who tells me he's a doctor in Cambridge every video. Yeah, he's quite good. I like his stuff. Secret Lab is the way forward. That's who I'm hoping I can get one sorted with. Um, obviously, if another, if another chair manufacturer want to get in touch and gazump them, I'm not going to turn it away, but I want a Secret Lab chair. Nathan Curry here again. I'm mad I got sold, Kev, but I'm way more upset I didn't want to come back. That's not even close to true. Well, well. GT Omega in Scotland. Yeah, but this chair is a GT Omega and it's lasted. I mean, I guess to be fair, it's lasted three and a half years, but it's so uncomfortable now. Secret Lab's down in Plymouth, isn't it? I think. And they do a big boy chair for big boys with big buns. Where's Dave? I also need a chair with a bell on so that when I move it, he knows to move. Did you see that picture I put on Twitter the other day of where Dave likes to sit at the moment? He kind of puts his head under the legs of the chair because he's mad. Can we see little Clates? Only if Clates turns up and asks. The little, the little ones, they only come out when the big ones turn up. So if you want to see little Clates, you've got to go and fetch big Clates and get him to ask or hack him I guess and just pretend to be him right we're 1-0 up 
Let's keep this going. Secret Lab is Singaporean. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're in Plymouth. Uh, need bells on the chair for the showdown. How about a cobra seat? I don't know what a cobra seat is. I mean, we looked at the, ch the chair I decided I wanted the other day. Hold on. Oh, what's this? You should probably do that. It's great. Exclamation mark Nord VPN. This is the one that I want. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I want it. This is my new chair. This is my new chair. But I don't want to pay £450 for it. Ships from Devon, UK. There you go. Devon, UK. That's not Singapore. Would I rather manage Peter on 20k a week or Northampton for 100k a week? Northampton for 100k a week. I mean, you know that's five times the amount of money, don't you? £450 for a chair. Who would buy that? Probably someone who sits in their chair all day. What a goal. This is a £200 chair I'm sat in now. And I have back pain all the time. So I need a bigger, better chair that supports my lumbar better. Bum, 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 bum. But the problem is, with everybody working from home at the moment, chairs seem to be out of stock everywhere, which is terribly problematic for someone like me who has a broken chair and therefore should go to the top of the list, I think. I've got a broken chair and I really want a chair. So I should be prioritised. On Secret Lab, there's a 65%, 65 pound discount I just looked. Nice. They're still out of stock though, that's a problem. You guys with your fancy chairs, I sit on the edge of my bed. I literally wouldn't be able to walk if I sat on the edge of my bed to use my computer would not be able to walk after like two hours of that i've bought chairs for our office before they can be pretty expensive especially the ones with extra back support yeah exactly i've had the same issue with good webcams yeah i um yeah the uh the elgato cam link was out of stock for ages as well wasn't it my microphone took three weeks to come anything to do with working from home is hard to get at the moment you lazy herbits need to go back to work so that I could buy my things again. Right, can we have a goal here? He's yeeting it into the area again. Oh! He's a little fat lad from Forest. Beautiful. I'm basically sat in a cheap dining chair made to look like the ones... Um, it made to look like a desk chair, student accommodation for you. But, you know, students don't need to have back support. Students are made of rubber. I could have just... I mean, I could have sat on a... a, a beer keg. And, I mean, I probably did at times when I was younger, but I'm nearly 40. I need a comfortable chair. There's one just like the one you want, and it's £349. I mean, I know it does make me sound a bit wangy. And it's it's not actually that I don't want to buy one. Although, obviously, I would rather get one for free. But it's not even the whole free thing. What I don't want to do is spend three or £400 on a chair and then have another chair company come and offer me a brand deal. And me have to say to them, well, I've, I've just bought a chair. You gonna say, have you got a better chair for me? I don't want to turn down money. I used to sit on a beanbag to play my Xbox all the time. So I basically need to approach every chair company who might want to sponsor me and say, look, do you want to sponsor me at any point in the next year? Because I need a chair. 
And if they all say no, then I'll buy one. Have two chairs. My office isn't big enough for two chairs. Where would I put two chairs in here? I mean, you can see how close I am to the walls. Um, so there's that wall. And then there's that wall. There's no room for a second chair. If you get a sponsor, you could do a giveaway and get rid of the other chair. But that's not how it would work, is it? Because if I... Let's say I bought a secret lab chair and then GT Omega sponsor me. I can't do a secret lab giveaway while sponsored by GT Omega, can I? I'd just have to throw it in the bin. Wheel it into the sea. Clean those cans away. Nah, I'll do that at bedtime. It's not a lot of cups. It's nine cups. We established earlier... Nine cups is fine. That's less than two days worth of cups. Chair outside the room to wait on. There's only a small little hallway out there. A chair would fill the width of the hallway. Right, come on. Let's have another win. This might well be the last game of the stream. Unless we lose. Give it to Anna. But where would Anna put it? Anna also has a chair. Do I ever watch football? I watch Posh. A chair for Dave. But where would it go? We don't have loads of space in our house. We have quite a small house. All our room, every room in our house is smaller than its equivalent room in the old house. Lucy for her room, but Lucy doesn't have a room here. And how would I get it all the way to Peterborough? Kenny Cage, thank you for the gifted sub. All I hear, Kev, is problems. I want solutions. I've already given you the solution. The solution's really simple. I just ask every chair company if they want to sponsor me. And if they all say no, I buy one. That is the solution. It just takes a week or two. Could I not break it down and store it in an attic basement garage? I have none of those things. Buy a new house for the chair. Well, I, yeah, I'll convince Anna to let me buy the flat next door. Get myself my super office. Do you think Posh will win the Papa John's trophy? Hopefully not. By the flat next door for the chair. That is seeming like the obvious solution now, isn't it? Now now we've all thought it through. I should I should spend eighty thousand pounds on a flat just to store a chair in. <laughs> store it on the spare car. Car news, the spare car's going tomorrow. I only got a grand for it, but it's actually going tomorrow. I probably would have paid someone to take it away at this point. It's going I'm selling it for scrap. It's not insured. It's not got an MOT. It's not got valid tax. It's bit, They're coming on a truck to put it on the back of the truck. And then it's going off for scrap. Well, I, they say that. I imagine what's actually going to happen is they'll just, fix, they'll just replace the broken door and sell it for three grand next week. talking about realism kev you regularly spend tens of millions on mansions because they have loads of chairs in them i know you don't want your home team to win a trophy not the papa john's no i disagree with it as a competition should i sign it what the car <laughs> i might get, i'll go out over sharpie later write my name on the side does anyone want a signed car if you can do better than a grand and pick it up tomorrow, you can have it. You can't drive it away, though, because it doesn't have an MOT, so you need a way to transport it. You do not give the chair to Andy. Andy has a chair. He doesn't need it. Why do you all want me to have multiple chairs? Just, I mean, you know, I can wait two weeks. And then if I still need one, I'll buy one then. £1,000 and a penny. If you can pick it up before 9am when they're coming... It's yours. Still find it funny they're going to play the 2020 final just before the 2021. So the winning team won't even get to have it for long. That seems reasonable to me. What you don't like 442. Did you think that? I've been using it with home all year. Lelouch. Well, right that on the side. Lelouch had this car. I should do. But it means I'll actually finally be able to put my new car on the driveway rather than leaving it out the front of the house like I have done for three months. Unless you're my insurance company, in which case it's been on the driveway every night. Did 
Um, what is the state of this bench currently? It's all the defenders. Whose idea was this? Get Colonel Sanders the libero on for the last 20 minutes. Can you raid a Michelino FM when the stream ends? Um, I'll have a look to see who's on. There's a possibility. Depends how many people are watching him. But being completely honest, if he's... I, I don't know how many people are watching. If he's got four or five people watching, then no. Because like I said on the uh, the thing the other day, I don't raid people with hardly anyone watching because I think it's a bit unfair on them. But if he's got like 20 or 30 people watching, then maybe. Insurance is cheaper if you put it as on road over driveway. You what? How? I don't think that's right. Do, 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 do. If we don't win this game now, I'll be cross. <laughs> uh. Come on, Martel. No. Come on, boys. Come on now. Let's not mess this up from here. Oh, more excitement. I've just realised everything exciting is happening at once. Anna's off work tomorrow. I don't have a six o'clock alarm. Amazing. It's because if it's stolen from the road, it's a theft. If it's stolen from driveway, it's been targeted theft. What do you mean by unfair? If there are five people watching, wouldn't they be happy? But they also wouldn't have the first idea how to cope with 400 people turning up and how to stream to that many people. So they'd just, they'd, they'd be back to having five people within half an hour. Whereas if it's someone who's used to streaming to 20, 30, 40 people, uh, they might be able to retain 50 people from the 400 to go over there and it actually benefit them. But you only get one chance to make a first impression. If your first imp if the first impression oh for God's sake. That was awful. If the first impression that is unfair that it's gone down as an own goal for Boateng as well. Just watch how this happened. This is awful. But not his fault at all. I don't even know how it's deflect deflected off at that angle. It's a sink or swim moment. Yeah, and I'm not the one to decide when someone gets their sink or swim moment. All the best raids I've ever done have been to slightly bigger streamers. Uh... Bandera wants to... <laughs> what? Bandera... Wants to start more games, but now he's dropped his lack of football concern. Immediately. Right, we've got to play one more game after that. I can't have that be the final moment of the stream. Um, while it's doing that, I'm just going to have a look to see who is on so we can work out who we're going to raid when the time comes. Oh, my keyboard's gonna die ah plug it in plug it in there we go one saved keyboard um there's quite a few people streaming at the moment du -du. Bum, bum keep playing until we win no just keep playing until we don't have a moment like that one at the end of a game we should have won that game we've got too many players that i've promised first team football to this might have been a mistake on my part but then i remember i'm kev and i don't make mistakes so it couldn't have been plugged in a keyboard what are you a caveman well you have to charge them somehow <laughs> <laughs> how 
How do you propose I charge it if I don't plug it in? Right. Colonel Sanders back in the defense. See, we're just going to keep doing... We're, we're just going to keep rotating and trying different things until we find a system that works. Then we'll keep those players in. What keyboard do I have? I have a Logitech MX Master Keys. Which is a beautiful piece of equipment that seamlessly transitions between my two computers. It's brilliant. It's like the... I, I rarely even notice that I'm playing on two different machines. It's just like having two monitors on one computer. It's very clever the way the Logitech stuff works. So both the mouse and the keyboard just seamlessly move between the two. It's beautiful. It's also not cheap. So unless you're using a two PC setup like I am, it's probably not worth the money. Right, come on, boys. Oh, Taylor Crossdale's in. Beautiful. Barnes the keeper just went up for a corner. Keeper basically just gave Kante a piggyback because Kante was all over him. No penalty. Oh, dear. That's a lovely finish. Martel Taylor Crossdale is going to break Ridge's record this year, I think. Do, 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 do. Um, come on. We'll just take this as a 1-0 now. We don't want any more end-of-match nonsense. Look, Colonel Sanders plays well as a defender. Every time he's played there, he's got a good rating. Maybe he is a defender. Maybe we need to play him as a libero. Imagine if that's what we end up doing. Oh, what is it with the deflections? At what point do I start blaming the goalkeeper for this? Okay, that one wasn't a deflection, but still. <laughs> right, come on. There's still time for us to get back into this game. Taylor Crossdale is beautiful. What a goal. Not okay. I realise blaming the keeper for something like that is harsh, but it's now happened four times in the last three games. So at what point is it just his positioning's a little off? And we try the other keeper we signed this summer. Because uh... if it keeps happening... Something's causing it. Right. Let's get Colonel Sanders forward into midfield again. And then for my final trick, we're going to take off Taylor Crossdale. Bring on Waltman. I always want to call him Wolfman. I think we might have to change his name to Wolfman. That's what it looks like. Come on, boys. Let's not mess this one up at the end. Oh, lovely long throws. That's not quite as effective as some of them have been this evening. And now we're in a little bit of trouble. Boateng's done well to get back there after his own goal in the last game. Oh. There you go. Colonel Sanders, the libero. Beautiful ball over the top from him. Wolfman's in. Here we go, look. Here we go. Penal penalty? Are we having a penalty? It's only a little penalty. How did Europe go? Um, we we won the first round and then got knocked out by Austria-Vienna. It was actually closer than I thought. Martel taylor Crossdale got a hat-trick against him. Um, but we still got knocked out. I'm changing his name to Wolfman. It's got to be done. If I can actually ever get to him. All right, where is he? Wolfman. There we go. Now we probably have to start starting him. We've got a player actually called Wolfman. And... Uh, what is that? What is with these players? The, I mean, this... 
I am going to grudgingly admit some of this is tactical familiarity and team cohesion because we've done a huge player turnover at the same time as changing our tactic. So it is going to take a little bit of a time for that kind of nonsense to stop. But I've had enough of it now. Can we just not do anything dumb for the rest of the game? I'd like to pick up a win. Wolfman plays it into... We are playing Colwyn Bay. Yes. Doesn't look like he can even grow a beard. That's what he wants you to think. You wait until there's a full moon, though. Uh, <laughs> it's Cole Stars. We released him because he wasn't good enough. In fact, I think we got £300 for him, if I remember rightly. He never looked like doing anything like that for us. Please don't throw a 3-1 lead away again. I couldn't cope with it two matches in a row. Oh, ha, ha, victory. Lovely old victory. Fantastic stuff. Um, So where does that put us now? In the league, up to fourth. Level on points for TNS. Yes, they've got a game in hand, but we're in the mix. Cardiff met uni and not going to finish top three. Behind them, it's the same top three as last year. They're going to get out of the way. We just need to deal with Barry from EastEnders and then we're golden. We are very much in this title race, boys and girls. We've just had a slow start. Remember, we're going to get better as the season goes on this year. Whereas last year, we got worse as the season went on because we got figured out. This year, it's not going to happen. We are going to be fine. But we are going to end the stream there. Remember, folks, um, no stream now until Sunday because that's how we do things. I have a couple of nights off now. Tomorrow night to do my podcast. Saturday night to uh, sit in my pants and eat pizza and watch a movie probably because apparently people have to have one night off a week so i'll be back sunday night at seven o'clock and um, what we'll do now is have a look to see who we can raid but right, we're not raiding on mega luke because we raided him last night mozza we did last week i think as well josh peach is on though we haven't raided josh peach for ages so we're gonna raid josh peach um so raid josh peach underscore He's not cool enough to have a name without an underscore in. Go and give him hell for that, boys and girls. And I will see you back here, bright and breezy, 7 o'clock, Sunday night. The podcast is the Mature Gamer Podcast. Search for it wherever you get your podcasts from. Bye-bye, boys and girls. Make sure you hit that follow button if you're new around here. We were just about to stop, but for you guys dropping in, we're going to carry on.